kind of about this bitch. This feel like it's January. Yeah, I for sure. love it. My rent coming in. I said we're getting 10K today, so let's do it. I own the plazas. When I start seeing my rent coming on the 31st, I feel like, oh, it's almost dead. Absolutely. What's up, chat? Can we get 10K today? Or y'all gonna stop bullshit? <laughs> he ain't ready. They gonna be on that bullshit. And don't listen to Gil when he say jump off the ship. Stay on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Get close. Agent Zero. Change the game. Name. Look, with the honor call for greatness, the chosen a few that carry the gift of genius. Who do what they do? Who possess finesse of less with desire? It's true. I'ma say it loud, none other than who? Some swear by Nikes, others love Adidas. Rappers be rocking crowds, I'd rather rock arenas. You may have a nice shop, you super set with the pill. Who made the zero famous? It's Gil. Homie fire, he wet, cold as the Pacific. Some dudes try to guard him, no need to be specific. He dazzled up the crowd as a wizard for years. Was 100% real, it's Gil. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa! Hey, man, I need some new highlights, man. We need some more highlights, man. I'm, serious, I'm done seeing these, man. For real. You tired of them already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would be too if I was. Like, I got buckets, man. So, I mean, you can, you can have, like, like, loads of different prefixes. <laughs> different uh, intros with different, different highlights? Different intros with buckets. The same song though, right? Uh, the song is hard. You go by team by they team. Said, they said they're team, team by team. Team by team. Oh. Team, by team. <laughs> team by team. They said that's all the highlights that the NBA had. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's the only package they put out. Yeah, yeah. And they, they also wanted me to ask you, did you notice that Tony Brothers is literally in the first frame of that? <laughs> Who's Tony Brothers? I'm just letting you know. He's lurking. Okay. He's just always there. Ready to trick a game off. Huh. Well, welcome back to Gills Arena presented by <laughs> Underdog that's Fantasy. Bad rap out in the street, huh? <laughs> Joined as always by the legend Gilbert Arenas. We got Rashad McCants in the building. Mm -hmm. We got Miko Grimes coming back on the couch. And we got Kenya Martin Welcome on this back. lovely Wednesday. Welcome back. Is this Kenya Martin Wednesday? No, you pull up kind of whenever. And whenever you pull up, we ready. I'm lit. Ready. Let's I'm lit. Lit. <laughs> lit. I was ready. in the air. I was in the air, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I had to stop by. Oh, we appreciate you. So we got some things to cover today. Uh, Adam Silver says the league was too physical in the late 90s. But is it too soft now? Jimmy Butler trademarked Hemi Buckets and was offering up Heat Finals tickets before the playoffs even started. Hmm. That's that Confidence Coffee t-shirt you rocking yeah, right there. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, with the, okay, with the cup. Nice shout out. Say? Nice shout out. <laughs> with the cup. Outfit. Appreciate it. And a ref gets busted <laughs> for his alleged burner account. You know we got to talk about that because it, it definitely impacted these Lakers. Some might say it ruined the season, but... That's neither here nor there. That game could have been a different game. That's not the game could have been a different game. We See, look, we're we not going to do that. Let's, nah, yeah, we go. Go. Let's talk about it. <laughs> That's what I said that day to you. Listen, y'all like, I'm saying you like Cowboy fan. Like me being a Cowboys fan, like you worse than us. Like Lakers fan, like y'all no, bad. No, y'all no. bad. Cowboys no, fans, you just gonna just gonna pull them out of the air. Worse than us. No, the Cowboys are definitely the worst. They think they're going to Super Bowl every, every year. single year. Oh, I don't. <laughs> okay, so you're not one of them. I'm an honest Cowboy okay, fan. Okay, then you're listen. different. You're not like oh, Wayne that's Dennis, a different. Wayne Dennis since I've been in high school. Well, I've been high school a long time. We know that, but the fans listen, always listen, think listen, I've been this high school all year, every year. Yeah, I was a junior in high school, bro. <laughs> like, I'm a old long old time now, ago. A long time ago. No, I got him. My daddy's a but, cowboy fan. But yeah, Lakers fan. So, so you just gonna throw that like that the man doing that with his burn account affect the Lakers? Really? I'm just that that Celtics game in the regular season could have it 
the butterfly effect. They set yeah. us on a trajectory in the course. Really? What y'all would have been a, what, a six straight seed straight instead third. of a seven seed? Straight we would have finagled it. Huh? Straight third to the seed, who knows? Straight <laughs> to the sweep. Straight <laughs> to the sweep that shit up under the goddamn table. Sweep it so so y'all would have lost the first round the instead of. Westbrook wouldn't have had D'Angelo Russell. Your shit could have, you know what I mean? Uh, you know? Austin Reeves would have still been there. Cool. Playing over Westbrook. No. Cool. We wouldn't have had D'Angelo. You don't like D'Angelo. We wouldn't have had Mr. Four Points. Like but no, we kept we'd have had D'Lo for the first two rounds. We needed him for the first two rounds. <laughs> yeah. Move the goal, post. <laughs> Remember, as always, Underdog Fantasy presents the show. You want to get down, down with Underdog, go ahead, download the app. Use promo code Gill or Gills Arena. We're gonna say Gills Arena today. It'd be switching up on me sometimes. But use promo code Gills Arena. They will match your first deposit up to $100. You put 100 in, they're gonna give you 100. You start with 200. You can really go out there and get these pickums going. As always, stay away from the five pieces, two, three, or less. Excuse me. Um, but you, uh, well, you got to start giving a pickum advice. You're not gonna celebrate my wins. Uh, you're out here getting it. Hey, I'm not even gonna lie. You know, I. I I posted yours on Instagram like it was I, mine. I, I did. I seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I celebrated it, though, because I'm like, oh, that's my nigga. You know, usually nobody going to think no, you did. Uh, it don't matter. <laughs> it don't be a team. It's a team <laughs> win, bro. I, I, I seen it. I said, like yeah, Gil, let them know. I'm like, I thought we win. Gil was losing. No, we, we, win. we win. I was losing, but for, for the, the audience, I, I'm a winner. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that right. We all win. You need to take me, man. You pay me, we win. Nigga, we win. You pay me, we win. And remember, if you want to be featured in our Mostly Fan segment at the end of the show go ahead drop a good question into the chat make sure it's a good one you can spam us you could trick this algorithm we almost got to 10k yesterday mm. yo you know what that means so close. Yeah. that Belize. we're gonna get the 10k and when Gil tell you to we're jump off today you're do gonna not listen off. we're Gil that we're gonna get the 10k man bump it up to 12k no it's at 10k <laughs> uh, progression we're gonna renegotiate yeah. progression and remember if you subscribe to Gil's Arena it helps boost your questions up bump them up to the top we see them easier we can feature them on the end of the show y'all been asking some good shit I'm gonna be honest, because a lot of people in the chat are kind of mid, Gil. You know what I mean? Everybody, it's a lot of haters. It's mostly fans, some haters, though. You gotta show them. You gotta show them. Oh, you yeah. Got, oh, you got to show them the Jones. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can't just like, I don't like flex, show. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You got to show the Jones, yeah. bro. Wow. Yeah, yes, Gil, you got all these exclusive colorways. <laughs> you know we wear the same size shoe. We do? Mm-mm. You ain't getting that? Mm-mm. Show my, mm-hmm. show my shoes. You know, our stage. You got the 19, you got the 19 Gilbert, E's, baby. Gilbert you got the Converse. Is, simple, simple man. This nice. is, these are black owned company here. Though. Okay. Oh, okay. This, this black owned too. No. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> me. me. You like these? And it's me. We already got a good Mosty fans question. They said Gil coughing after that first hit off that 10K pack or nah. I'm going to say yes. Yes. He got to pull it hard though. You, you can't cough. do the baby pull. No Bill we Clinton. You got to inhale it. He know what he's oh, doing. Really? He done smoked before. He ain't. Well, I never smoked before. He's sitting Let's there go. like, man, they don't know I smoke every day. I was going to start practicing <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go and practice a little bit. <laughs> don't want to get in bed. That would, that would be why. <laughs> and as a reminder to everybody out there, you can get audio versions of Gil's Arena on Spotify, wherever you get your podcast now. Gil, we're trying to really run this back Spotify, up. Spotify, yes. Get that Pat McAfee back. Yes, sir. So we can all eat good, live good. Mm-hmm. We can all have our own. Custom Fire. Agent Zeros. Fire. So if you can't watch the show, go ahead and rock with the audio. That's the, the gist of it. Are we, before we start the regular show, the actual the meat of the show, the NBA, pop culture, all that shit, we got to talk about uh, something that I saw yesterday that was quite concerning. If you use social media, you know that some things need to be left in the drafts. Uh, Josh Hart has tweeted some questionable things in the past, but this tweet he dropped Tuesday may take the cake. Uh, he asked... Have y'all ever tasted y'all significant other's breast milk? Ask it for a friend. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. I think it, that friend was Josh Hart. Yeah, so Hart's teammate and close friend Jalen Brunson had to unfollow him. The entire internet proceeded to pack him up. CJ McCollum randomly shows some support for Hart. Says, sick conversation. Heard it goes down like almond milk, to which Hart replied, Whoa. not going to lie, bro. It's better. <laughs> Good, we'll start with you. He's got to know. Better? Got to know. Uh, I, he must have just had a kid, right? It is, okay. obviously. Have you yeah, ever have tried you? breast milk as an adult? Yes, of course. You tried breast milk as an adult? Yes. Yes. Why not? Any father that stayed with the girl, you, you, you me? went in that and... You, you have kids? You? Rashad, does Rashad, you have kids? Josh Hart's wife had twins earlier this yeah, month. Yeah, so I'm pretty kids? sure, yeah. You know. But you drinking titty <laughs> milk? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you ain't drinking like the baby, but I mean. Cambodian or regular? You gonna suck it Gilbert, out, you, you drinking the breast milk out here? You out here drinking breast milk? 
I can't say I never tasted breast milk before. Okay. I, I, do, I do have five kids. It was almond milk? I do have five Can you? kids. <laughs> you never had some breast milk? Can you? Was, was I'm not, almond I milk? Do you agree? I have, <laughs> no, I have I no earthly idea what y'all are talking about. Can you? <laughs> Can you? I, 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 I have no, no, I got Almond six, milk? I got six kids. Uh -huh. never he don't know what's milk. going on. I, and I have no idea what y'all are talking about. This is my problem make with all y'all. I just want to make sure. You guys, I'm pretty, I'm with bet money. I'm with bet money that all of y'all eat dairy. Am I I'm right? About it. No. You don't eat dairy. You're lying. No, I know I there's do. dairy in that coffee. No. I do. You don't eat cheese. No. I He's do. He's lying. Gilbert, I know you do. You do. You do. I eat cheese, yeah. You will drink a stranger cow's titty milk, but not but I'm a just woman that had, had your kids. I said I, I never but had you, it. So you're not saying it's disgusting or not? Not at all, but, I, but it's just something oh, okay. that if right after my wife, we got, we got two kids together, and I got older kids. Uh -huh. I, like, I understand no, the process. No, nah, not nah, never. Just like never. put it. Not at all. <laughs> nah, ain't that she can even squirt it. Like, That's you don't even just literally squirt it right now. Nah, nah, I'm good. Nah, nah, we ain't, nah, we, we, nah, nah, son. We not, we not. Did y'all nah. drink cow's milk? Nah, That's, son. I'm What's watermelon, it? too. Cow's milk. But Come on. You don't even I know that cow. Kids. I was you don't even got, know that cow. And I got six. You don't know that cow. You don't know where that cow's been. I hear you. If it has mastitis. I'm with you. Anything y'all eat. I'm with you. Louis Pasteur. Well, I'm just saying. You got, I'm like, with some, it. some women don't have, you know, breasts until they have a baby. So that's just something new for you. Like, oh, I'm you got you. the extras now. <laughs> but, you got the extras now. You got the extras. But my thing is, when you first come home, like, I'm not, I, I'm letting you relax. I'm not I bothering you. I'm letting you be you. I'm, I understand what the man said. Listen, if you do this, you're going to have another one in nine. Yeah, We're not doing none of that. Listen, we ain't touching he's you. Ain't touching you. I ain't touching you when you come home. Oh my God. No, I'm, that's that's where my kids went. I'm not what? touching you, you when you come home. Back to back, back, back to back. back, back, back. And I'm not back back. touching back. you. <laughs> you fell for it. Go okay. get, go freeze the lettuce, How about you? cabbage, whatever it is, and get that Can shit I up make, out of there. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I like, take my dry that like, thing up now. Like, <laughs> you're like, what is it? What is it? He's like, 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 Pina yeah, colada. About, first of all, first of all, you was raised by your mama, so obviously you had it. It's the milk for the mama. Oh, you said adult. Let mama drink the milk. We as mother, an adult, we all we all mother, had. From I'm, I'm sorry, when, you milk. know when when she yeah, started off with uh, was it A cups, B cups? Is the little ones? Yeah, yeah. A. And then you know she has baby, and then now she got some D D's. Shh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you right to it. Soon yeah. she come home. New, she's new. This is new right here. This is, new. <laughs> this is all new to me. <laughs> this is before the implants. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm, 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 so, I I gotta ask everybody say, on this couch. I can honestly say, no, <laughs> what's the nastiest thing you've seen a teammate do that you feel comfortable sharing on Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy? Wait, do or eat? Do, eat, anything. Huh? Is anything yeah. in that <sighs> teammate or just. Like you ain't got to get named. No, 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 no. I, no, we never had never had a teammate do nothing like nasty. But we had a, uh, a staff member after the shower, he put his foot on the sink and then used the hair blower to, to dry his balls. Blow his balls. Dry his balls Wait, off. Wait, is, is his balls out or he got? Yeah, balls? just butt naked, just sitting. Like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, nobody had hair, so nobody used so a blow dryer. And he just sitting there, just blow drying, in just right there, in front of everybody. It. Oh yeah. my God. That was his thing. Yep. So, <laughs> so I. <laughs> um, we came in one night and we all were in my room and we wild, man. Like, I had one teammate, one nigga was taking the shit, the other nigga was pissing in the sink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. This is that urgent? <laughs> Needless to say, I called her and said, like, yo, can I get another room? <laughs> Y'all got anything else available? We got to oh throw the towel in. We got to uh, throw the towel in. That is wild. That's, that's wild. These boys wild, man. Listen. I don't even listen. like to be in the bathroom I played in, somebody yo, I played in, I had some wild teammates over, over times, man. Listen. No, no, no. That's some, that's some funny shit. When you were a team... <laughs> Yeah. You do some, you do some suspect shit. We was in the playoffs. We was in the yeah, playoffs. You do so some suspect shit as a group. As a group? 
What do you mean by suspect? That mob mentality. Like shit like that. Like it'd be like exactly that. <laughs> yeah. That's suspect. Y'all nasty. Like it's weird. <laughs> 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 Right. All right, well, let's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right here, what, what's happening? But well, he got nothing to say. He got the confidence. Oh, man. I mean, I, got, I mean, yeah. my rookie year got rookie hazed, and uh, he, one of the vets put a, a... Like, he... With a chick, and he was trying to school me on the bus about some pimping, like, like how to get the girls and stuff. And he ended up, like, leaving a used tampon on my door when I woke up in the morning. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. That's nasty. And then he to talk about some some, some of the stuff I mean, on, on the talk. bus afterwards. He's a European. So you by had the way. to touch yeah. it to yeah. open, open your to get out. No, of it was on the outside of the door. Oh. When I when I walked out, when I sounds like what the fuck? He's like, yeah, young fella, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations on what? <laughs> on what? <laughs> you made it. He like you made it. You made it. <laughs> you made it. You made it through the hazing. Congratulations. It was like right after training camp. I'm not rolling. Nah, yeah. me neither. That's, that's rough. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna fight. <laughs> yeah, it was one of them. It was we one gonna, of them was like, what the Yeah, we're gonna fight. I'm a rookie or not. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna come from that's the shoulders, dog. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah. At you, man. Nasty. And I bet it stinks. Yeah, it was nasty. Yeah. I didn't know what it was. Oh, that's awful. Well let's yeah. We gotta keep this thing moving. That's awful. Right. The chat not feeling. Oh, that's yeah, that, yeah, that's awful. <laughs> the, chat, the chat has spoken. Yes. They uh, they should. This was <laughs> that was a little. The chat has spoken, but Gil, you talked about balls earlier, right? We got to talk about <laughs> oh, some more serious subject. We got Lonzo Ball. I'm going to say that's, that's Paul. That's a, that's a, you, okay, but I get it. I get it. Oh, my bad. I'm going to get some AOs and all that. I'm going to be thinking some time. I'm going to be thinking, I'm be thinking Wait, Whose man's is this? Whose man's is this? They're going to hit me with the camera on, but it's all good. a whole new shirt to make, boy. Oh but got to get to some serious mm -hmm. stuff for, you know, uh, Lonzo Ball, future in the league, remains uncertain. Ball underwent cartilage tramp. Cartilage transplant surgery back in March with the hopes that it would give him the best chance to return to the court. Uh, Lonzo hasn't played since January 2022. I think he's had like three surgeries since then, and he was aiming to be the first NBA player to return after undergoing the cartilage transplant procedure. But it was expected to miss most, if not all, the next season. Now there's a report uh, from 670 to score's Dan Bernstein that privately the Bulls believe that Lonzo may never play again. So first question. Was it wrong for the Bulls to let that private information uh, become public? Because when you say privately, and I'm seeing it in a tweet that literally everybody can see, it's like, this shit not private no more. Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> they want that information to get out, mm -hmm. so um, they can try to figure out how to get out of the contract, but they can't. But what did he, what did he hurt? He tore his meniscus or something. He's, like, it, was, like, it was something small. It was supposed to have been out like short time. Yeah. It was like a meniscus. Initial knee but surgery was supposed to be like six to eight weeks. It was a meniscus. A so meniscus it tear, like a microfracture to me. This is what they, they don't mean. do microfracture anymore. So therefore, no. they maybe they should. They stop. They stop that. Trust moment. me, they stopped doing it. I, I, I had two of them. Trust I me, I had you know? one too. I had, I had dope. They said that and maybe you should try it because it builds cartilage. How about no, no, that? It definitely does. No, no, no. They said that right there ruined everybody's career. Yeah, like at least to eight. To no, they said one hundred percent everybody. When'd you yeah. have it? I had one on each knee, dog. And when? Denver, what year? Shit. In Denver, bro. I had my mom. I had micro fracture on oh, each okay. knee. Hold on, hold on, Super Superman. Okay, having a forty-five inch vertical and going down to forty. I had micro fracture. It's, it's each. cool for you, but when you got thirty-eight and you drop down to motherfucking JJ Reddick, I'm yeah. just saying. That's that the hell it hurts. Honest, but I'm just saying I had micro fracture <laughs> on each and knee, bro. And it worked bro. for you. JK like had I went it. to the guy. JK so, had it. Yeah. so let me. So let me. So let me. So. The doctor that created it, Dr. Stetton, he created Michael Frax. Mm -hmm. He did my second one on my right knee. I went to the man that, the man, the man, Nobel Peace Prize winner, all that. Mm -hmm. So he went and fixed the correction. We fixed my left knee that was botched by the team doctor. He botched the team doctor, that? botched my shit too. Mm -hmm. So he went and fixed that, cleaned that up, and did all that. Damn. So I was able to, I, I, I had both, man. Play it again. Yeah, I should have went to that and got right there, man. But what oh. I'm saying is, you, you go from a 45 to mm -hmm. a 40. No, yeah. right? That's five inches. Yeah. Right? No, everybody, my bad, my else, everybody bad, else that affects them. Regular people. Yeah. That affects everybody else. Oh, oh, it did. <laughs> no, a lot of people didn't play again. Yeah. Like, um, a lot of people's career was definitely affected. Some of the greats, like, well, so we don't know what they would have been without that surgery. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Girl, yeah. not to interrupt um, you, but uh, you said you had a 38 inch vertical? I had 38. According to. Uh, 
your vertical jump at the combine, 36 inches. Thank you. JJ Reddick was 33 Thank inches. Thank you. They were, they so they got amazing. the old school combine numbers for rankings and all that. You know we got a we got an expert research. Oh, man, that, I know so. I was number one, that number just two. Flat, just jumping straight up, not oh, running jump. That's not my running jump. Running jump. Okay. Yeah. A nice try. <laughs> okay. That's a nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I so my thing was I had bad Achilles. I had but what felt. is a running? That's not vertical though. It's not. I don't know. Vertical is. What's no, the no, what is vertical? Vertical, Gil. I don't know. No, what is the def? No, vertical, please, two, 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 what is the two, definition two, of vertical? Two, two, straight up and down, right? So yours is thirty-six. But I'm just saying the ver- know, definition of is straight up and down. Standing right? vertical and then the max vertical. Yeah. So it's one step. Is running. It's yeah. one step. Okay. Is what the norm allows. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the allowment. Yeah, like, which is which is which is stupid too. Like you give me one, so I can touch the top of the back. But I'm saying that is that is a bad for the combine too because everyone's not two feet jumper. Not at all. Like you see James White? Yeah. Y'all oh, see his combine? His two feet is what is bad. No, yeah. it was 20, it was like 28 yeah. off of two feet, 43. Off of yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, you let him go off of one, yeah. He's yeah. Different. Yeah. Jump from the free throw line. No, nah, but that's messed up by Lonzo though, man. Like that's that's unfortunate. But nothing is sacred within these organizations anymore. You know what I'm saying? And if you were to leak something about the front office, then you would get fined for conduct detrimental to the team, but they can do all kind of shit because they own the team because they run it and act like, oh, you know, it was just leaked out. Like it was like it's not a big deal that you're putting this information out, probably ruining his chances of any team even entertaining him yeah. if he was to come back. Yeah. yeah, because you ain't got one thing you don't have to worry about is people at the hospitals like or the place where he had the treatment yeah. or the scans. That. They're not doing that because they let them, they can get sued. You know what I'm saying? So it got to be coming from within the organization. And, yeah. and we all know people talk, people. If you don't want somebody to know, all you got to do is don't tell nobody else. Say that. <laughs> <Or just laughs> don't lie. tell nobody else. And they're going to go right there. But yeah. as players, how do you guys feel when you see these type of situations happening, right? Shit gets leaked to the media. And as a fan or a consumer, we don't really know who that source is. But y'all got to know it's like one or three to four people that's doing the shit. But now these people look in your eyes, try to be boys with you and all that type of shit. Like, how, how does that make you feel as a player when you know you can't even trust things that stay within the confines of the team? I guess even in that situation, you know what I mean, he's more hurt that, you know, the idea of him not playing, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's that he he probably don't care about yeah, the article right, right now. <laughs> you know, he's damn, he's if thinking it's true, like is this saying, if it's you know, really true. No, no, even if what I'm saying is the article is the article for everyone else. Him himself, he already knows he's missing all of next year, right? Yeah. All of next year he's done missed this part. I mean, he already is bad on his own little Oh, yes. His little thing where the rest of the outside world don't even matter at this point. Yeah, it's rough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his whole you know his whole gr- development growing up was basketball, and you know it's just yeah. been taken away from him. So, yeah, like he's supposed to miss all of next year. That I mean, so he's supposed to miss the, the bulk of the 2023-2024 season, if not. Man, see, so he don't. Yeah, yeah, because that's rough. Cause I played he's, 56 games. I came off Michael fracture surgery. Came back too early. They told me I was fine. I played 56 games. Um, the next season, I played the first two games and I had to get micro fracture on my other knee. How'd it feel in the summertime, and like leading up to that? I, I before I needed the first one or or second or, one. Or, the second one for the two. When you yeah, no, I, I knew I, I wasn't right. I, I felt okay. Okay. I felt I did enough during the summer, but I was overcompensating for, for them fifty-six games. Okay. I'm saying I was basically playing on one leg. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I went out there and played the first two, first two games of the next season, and I, like I don't swell, I ain't got no body fat, like I don't swell at all. So my knee swelled up after two games. Yeah. I was like, ah, something ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably want to go get this looked at. <laughs> and then, so they were trying to have me see the team die. I was like, nigga, get the fuck away from me, dude. <laughs> like, you, can't, right. nigga, like, you, you, you can't prescribe me Tylenol, <laughs> bro. Like I don't got to hang there. You but you better get on, dude. <laughs> Like, but no, so I went and saw Dr. Stepman, man. But no, nah, no, nah, it's like, the, and then when I heard that and do Michael Fraction no more, I was like, hmm. hmm. Wonder why. But then it goes back to the old saying, though. They practice in medicine. Practice. Mm. Literally practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hmm? I'm surprised, I'm surprised no one got sued from all, from all the athletes. Were you talking about the team from the team doctors? Well, just period. You can't even do of, that. I was a part of a litigation they told me to drop. Yeah. Similar, because um, they couldn't explain why I couldn't get picked up after my fourth year, and they started to investigate 
certain players that wouldn't get picked up based on medical history and injuries. So my surgery came in my second year. But by my fourth year, I was still having things that were brought up medically to other teams when they were mentioning my name in trades or whatever. So I went into free agency, and they were like, if, the, if we can prove that these teams didn't pick you up based on something in this medical file, mm -hmm. we can go against um, like a class action and go up against the league based on that. But they couldn't prove it because my reputation was big enough to say, well, we didn't pick him up because we didn't like him. Mm, they player. jumped on a, some mother boy. <clears throat> right. So they was like, we can't mm. basically prove it unless we had them all talking on yeah. email and all that other shit. So we had something like that in like 2010 that they brought up, like trying to like, and they shoot a league. They probably would have said, oh, well, you don't even know if that's if it's our fault, really, like that could have just been your body's reaction. You know what I mean? Like every body doesn't perform, um, doesn't um, perform the same way after a surgery. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's almost like hard to sue and win a case like that Absolutely. because there's really no way to prove it unless right after the surgery you go get an MRI and they see the surgeon fucked up. It's kind of hard to prove that. For him to say the team doctor and me to have the team doctor and then I declined the outside expert. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted my allegiance to the to the team to be strong, <laughs> that I'm gonna go with the team doctor and trust them. Yeah. Yeah. He did the same exact shit, and it's like that was my my like, damn, I was being loyal for no fucking reason, and these niggas just botch my shit, and I'm really like, no, they so, had motherfucking Dexter in Denver. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Dexter in Denver. Everyone's mad at Kawhi Leonard for going out and getting his own, uh -huh. and they told him he ain't playing no more. Yeah. Right this season, listen. A team doctor is loyal to the team. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. The team yeah. is loyal to the fans. Absolutely. So I will, I will sit there in, in the medical staff, hear the team doctor, hmm. not, the, not, not, not the one that's in-house, in right, the other one, say, yeah, you know, he's going to be out uh, eight to ten weeks. And then by the time it got to the player, the player, yeah, you got to, because if you tell him eight to ten weeks, he's going to sit out ten weeks. If you tell him six to eight, He'd come back eight. Yeah, might, no, no, they play no, games. No. He gonna come back in six. Six. Yeah, he but, that, come but, back. but that's what I'm saying. But you see six. how like they're just uh huh. And that's why players yeah. are coming back too early because they're going it's by the, what they're, the told. they're going by what they're told. Like uh, Jar, I remember Jarvis Hayes kind of you know messed up the beginning of his career because he was being told that he had tendonitis the whole time when his whole kneecap was cracked. Come on, man. I don't worry That's about it. Crazy. Like, I think I need an MRI. We have a, hey man, go get an MRI, man. Go fuck these yeah. doctors. Go get your own doctor. Sure enough, he had a crack knee cap. Yeah. A, but he was being told for three weeks. You don't want the kids to play on KJ team, man. I had to tell him to sit his ass down, bro. Yep. They tell him to go out there, keep going. I'm watching him after the game. They got him, he only got a bad wheel, bad <laughs> ankle, man. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What they got, he just got done playing. They got him doing certain exercises after the game. I'm like, with weights and hopping and all that on the bad leg, I said, Shit, dude, don't matter what, no, yeah. no, no wonder. Mm -hmm. So after the game, I told KJ, listen, man, tell y'all, listen, man, he go ass down somewhere, man. He went out there, kept trying to play. I was like, dude, you know why? All right. All right. Walk around and find out the hard way. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what happened with Brent. So he ruptured his Achilles, and they wanted the team doctor to repair it, but all the team doctor had ever been talking about, anything that I had seen around him with Achilles is, you never return the same. Like, you're never going to be the same. And I'm like, why would I want to send him to a doctor that's saying he's not going to be back? So I took him to North Carolina. And the Falcons was pissed. They were so upset, like, telling him not to listen to me to use a team doctor. But this guy in North Carolina was was doing surgery on regular people, not just athletes, and doing an amazing job. Like, I'm talking about, this. Is not he's the doctor for the Carolina Panthers, but he also has his own practice. And they were like, well, you're going to have to drive him there back and forth. He can't fly. I said, yeah, uh, fine. Don't worry about what the fuck we're doing. Like, this is his chance in his career. I'm not about to let this doctor who already say negative shit, like, <laughs> do the surgery. Like, why, why would you do that to some, with somebody that's telling you you're not going to be the same before you even have the surgery? Mm -hmm. And he was fine. Played seven more years after that. The Dr. Anderson? Yes, Dr. Anderson. Yes, Dr. Anderson. Yes, Dr. And I drove oh, him a, no. back and forth to all those appointments for the no. whole six months driving, like, so he could get the right surgeon. Like, you know, pe the team doctors are, like you said, they're on the staff. They're, they're staff Their job is to hurry up and get you back as yeah. fast as they can yeah. and, and so that they don't lose much of their money right. yeah. that they gave it's you. It's them and ice. 
Yeah, like yeah, I mean, staring I, fucking eyes. Like the best, they're, the, like they're the, so out. This yeah. with the oh. wizards. With the wizards, you know how we go in the summer, right? Mm-hmm. In the summer is when athletes get to really see a whole nother world, right? You get to see real therapy, real therapists. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm telling you, the, the NBA, they, they didn't have real. They, they had just a. <laughs> yeah. You had our strength and conditioning guy, then you had the trainer where he had an assistant. Them two niggas was dumb as hell. Right, yeah. and you go out there, you get like you going out to chiropractor, all this stuff. So you feeling amazing in the summer. Get back to your season, and he's like, "Oh yeah, nah, you don't, you don't want to stretch this and do that." And I'm like, "Nah, mm-hmm. no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my own guy. Yeah, I'm gonna call my own guy, and then them two beefing and stuff like that. It's like yeah. they didn't like the ideal of new yeah. technology coming into their old ways. Yeah, like yeah. The, the best place I was though that I can honestly say, like, was the Knicks. Like them last, them two years I was there. Like they medical staff, because they had the doctor, she like Dr. Callahan, like she like Dr. Gladshaw was there? She dope. No, it was Dr. Callahan. Listen, she was she was on it. Like she didn't play, she didn't fuck around. Like she treated us all as we were her fucking kids, and she was listen, dog. If she said whatever she said, mm-hmm. you believe. No, the team went like oh, they, they didn't deviate. Okay. Like she like they ain't doing this, they ain't doing that, they gotta go do this, they got this amount of time, damn what y'all talking about. And they went with it. And they had, listen. They had five trainers, like dudes, they, two dudes from Europe that did the soccer. Five. That's lit. Five. <laughs> Look at his face. I'm saying, they had the black guy, Rob Hines, he was the main, but they had four guys on him. So the main guy there, there now, Chico, was right up under him, and it's just like, yeah, so it was, it, it, like, it was crazy. Like, it was some of the best shit I had seen. That's pretty nice. Think about. Oh, yeah, no, nah, they, they. Go ahead. From my perspective, though, like the younger kids and the younger, um, players that come in the league don't got the bag to go get their own trainers and their own people. Like, mm-hmm. you got to depend on these NBA these insurance. guys, right? The well, NBA insurance. We didn't know nothing about that shit oh, like then. You know what I'm talking about? You're a right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> with me watching KG, how he took care of his body, it helped me, like, once I got to my third year to understand, like, what I need to do for the process. But before that, it was like, you know, doing what they say. Mm-hmm. Ice stem, put the heat pack on, get in the jacuzzi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Home roll. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Anti inflammatory. Anti- anti- hey, and anti inflammatories. Three and two. Take your three and two, you'd be good to go. Yep. So, as I seen KG and asking them questions, like, man, I, you know, before he went to Boston, like, yo, what, what do I really need to do with this, this regiment? He's like, get the massage therapist. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give you my, my lady. She's in chiropractor. She, she do all of that shit. She started. Like di- dissecting my body a certain way where I'm like, oh, shit, this is different. Greg and them don't know what the fuck they doing out here because I was hurting right here. They telling me to do shit back here. And now you see your whole shit, but like you saying, like you having your own guy, it separates you because you coming to the, to the game and to the arena completely like calm, relaxed, stretched. Like you can tell you just spent that money on your body. For us, we was like, Damn man, I can't wait to get that bag so I can get that that trainer. I'm gonna be a whole lot looser when I come up in this bitch. I'm gonna be ready to go. It's a, it's a big advantage for sure. So you mentioned KG, uh, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver sat down with Kevin Garnett for his KG certified show. Has some things to say about the league trying to be less physical. There was a point, I believe, you know, probably in around the late '90s when the game became too physical. Mm. And I think we lost some of From the... From viewers, you mean? Yeah, and I think for our fans, from the aesthetic enjoyment of the game, where it de-emphasized the particular skill a player had mm. and maybe weighted too heavily um, physicality, where mm. a big, strong player could come in and prevent a incredibly skilled player from doing those kinds of things. Mm. I think of, not that he's a small guy, but a smaller player like Steph Curry can do on the floor. I think that his ability to shoot, his ability to move Mm. through the paint, that if guys could just bang him and knock him to the ground, as that was once the case in the league, I don't think that would be a better brand of basketball. Before we get into the question part. I can't wait to hear y'all. I love the way KG be be watching. He's like, "Mm." Look, you, 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 we just talked about this. I can't wait to we hear just y'all talked about on this. this. Hey, you know he listening to you. This is going to be good. Let's go. We ready? Let's, let's hear this. Yeah, you know we had to say the good shit for afternoon. We're here at 12.04 now on the West Coast. Let's get into it. 
So how does this current version of the league compare to the late 90s, early 2000s version of the league? <laughs> <laughs> all you 80s people, all you 80s people who said the 80s was the roughest time in basketball, you just heard the commissioner say it late 90s. So the theory of the shit y'all went and lived by was fucking wrong, like I said. They was on coke. They couldn't, they didn't have time to fucking foul nobody. They didn't have time to foul nobody. They didn't have time to play the defense like they claimed. The reason the defense looked good, because the offense was terrible too. 90s was the most physical year. Late, what do you say, late 90s? Yes. Late 90s. The commissioner, late 90s. Is when they had it. You was in league, right? When you was coming. Oh, right before you came in. Late nineties. No eighties. Right? You didn't say eighties. Well, I beg to differ. Oh, let's hear it. Mm -hmm. I'm a Pistons fan. 80. I grew up a Pistons fan. Uh oh. -uh. So 88, 89, 90, that's, them Pistons. That's nineties. But 88, late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Like them Pistons teams changed the. Like they they made. But but, the, but but what I'm saying is the bad boy. When I when I was saying is you can't say that you can't use that as 80s. That's not 80s. That's 90s. No, 88. So is when 80s. they won the championship. 88, 89, 90. So uh, when they won the championship. In the 80s. 88 and 90. So that's it. Two years. They went back to back. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Yeah, but one eight, in 80, so, one in 90. So so what's the first one you said? 88. So it's still in the 80s though, right? But the, is it is it not? <laughs> But you can't say, you can't, it's the 80s. Not so you're one so year in the 80s. 80. So, so you're saying so, that so from 80, they fought in now the 80, 80, 80 to 89, they fought in the 80s. soft. So you can't give the whole decade. Soft, I would not. Soft. Oh, so you're saying as a 212 whole. people got drafted every year. Listen, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Yes. Two hundred seven dance. rounds of basketball. <laughs> yes, they have seven rounds, bro. That's that's what I said. That was supposed to be the best era. Seven rounds of drafting. That's how that that's how sorry oh, they were. Were just get them get them in and get them out, and then in the nineties it went straight to two rounds. I'm with you. Jesus. I mean, it had to be the, but it really had to be the most physical. That's where all the big men were. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Big man era. But I'm glad. I'm glad right. he put it on. He put it on record. Cool. Late, late 90s, early You guys 2000s. think the league is soft now? I, I, uh, <laughs> be honest, soft, no, I wouldn't necessarily call it soft. What would you call soft. it? Soft. Guys are better actors now. Um, the rules have changed the way you play freedom of movement. And um, so we had a discussion before, like, there's certain aspects of the game that I would so, still so like to are, see. Guys use it more strategic now to their advantage as opposed to like really being soft. They fake it because, to but yeah, because make it like look like then, a soft like late in the 90s, early 2000s, like I came in in 2000, like I got drafted in 2000. We never wanted at no time to let anyone think that you had an advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm saying no matter what it was. So it wasn't no flopping. Like, whatever it was, like, we're going to hold our ground. We're going to knock you down. We're going to stand over. Like, at no point do where I, I wanted Gil or Shaw to think that. that They got to. He was me. weak. Yeah, that I was weak. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it was a stand. It was more stand up. Like, take it in take, your hand. Yeah, that's Instead what it was. Fake, yeah, hand. now okay. it's, it's evolved Strategic. to this, this wide open, which in baseball terms and Football, like you said, like chicks dig the long ball. Okay. So offensive play is more attractive mm -hmm. to the fans in every sport. And mm -hmm. You go to a baseball yeah. game and it's one nothing. Or you go to a football game, like yes, they went to a football game and it's mm -hmm. all field goals. Who wants to see that? They okay. want to see the score 44 yeah. 45, 48 45 in football. Mm -hmm. They want to see 130 in basketball, 140. Like that's what they want to see. So that's what they got to get the fans. Okay. So that's what it's about. It's about the fans. It ain't about us and how we want to play the game. It's about what the fans want and what the fans are paying yeah. their hard-earned money for, which I would like to see how they call in the playoffs now and play more like that all the time. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. It's like little, it's like little things they, um, they take away from those, these two. Right? Me, 
it looks the same. It looks easier for me because there's things that they can't do anymore to someone like me or Steph yeah. or what's the name. So like if he's guarding me, you right? Couldn't intimidate somebody going to the hole and make them fear. No, no, no. Going like so if we time. had if I had a route, right? I had to post so I was a post up. Like people like they see my game as a shooter, but I post up small guards. So when I'm trying to run through that lane and get position, I'll get chucked. Shit hurt. Right? <laughs> Make you think about right? it. They can't do that anymore. Right. Make right? It. So he can't, you know, I'm running it. It can't send me up. They got to let me run all the way through before if I decide to take off, he can just, uh, hold on. Now I got to get rerouted. Yeah. Right? You off, rerouted. You off your route. Yep. And then, you know, now he can't. He got to just let me go. Down. Yeah. That's a part, that was a part of our strategy, too, yeah. defensively. Like, we're like, knock Gil off his path. Mm -hmm. He's coming off this down screen for a double. We want a big man. Ken is going to be the last big out. Yeah. Make sure you hit him. So his trailer so, can catch up. So now up. we can catch yeah. up, right? We can shoot the gap, whatever. That was a part of the strategy. And the game plan was, you, we, <laughs> not to call no names up, but we knew who, I knew who I could be more physical with and who it got to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? So when the ball go up, first <laughs> possession, like I'm, do, I'm boom, <laughs> yeah. boom, hit, dot, yeah. dot, yeah. Uh, 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 all yeah. of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I know you're gonna shy away from it. Yeah. yeah. Like you can be averaging 25. I'm gonna take you right out of it. Them from elbows the beginning. Be tenderized. Yeah, it's all that. It's holding you, grabbing yeah. you. I'm all kind of listen, just little trick that I'm gonna do that I know you don't like. Or if just said if I'm playing somebody like Zebo, the ref gonna let us play up to a certain point, mm -hmm. you know what I'm because we more. both, yeah. So he tell us keep Physical it right there, guys, yeah. keep it right there, mm -hmm. which I love, and he loved it. So we just eat every yeah. possession. Exactly. He <laughs> hit me, I hit him. He boom, boom. Uh, ain't no, ain't no give. Yeah. It was, you know it saying? was alpha so, ball back then. Yeah. So that's what it like, and that's what it is, man. Some, and it's so far in between in the NBA now, that guys that played that could have played in our era. God, they look at him as dirty. They look at yes. him as too too physical for mm -hmm. this. And like, like no, that's the way they grew up playing the game. That's the way the game, every aspect of the game should be played. Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just because you running around free, want to shoot threes and all that, I still should be able to grab hold as well. You know what I'm saying? If you call it, if it's if it's a foul, call it. Yeah, that's <laughs> my thing. It, 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 the NBA has been tricked by players like me, right? Like players that I have a disadvantage, right? So I know, all right, they're going to put McCants on me, right? He's going to try to use his strength, mm -hmm. right? So now I need to use his strength against him. So now, flailed, like, so I'll time. be told, like, even though I didn't go offensive rebounds, he's been told, box out, right? Like, oh, I know he has to box out? Oh, watch this shit. I'll run in, knowing he's going to turn around and look, I'm going to just jump. Knowing then as soon as I jump, he's going to naturally just do this. He caught me out of air foul, yep. right? Get him out of there. That's what that's what penalized these guys, right? That's what penalized. I, I bounce the ball. People are uh, uh, ball watchers. Yep. They're going to naturally grab at it. As soon as they grab it, throw your arm up. I learned that from deadless shrimp. Hmm. Wow. Right. Bounce, bounce, right? Shoot Post it. up and then put the ball like <laughs> the, the old runner test. Yep. Right? Do it all the time just going too. slow because you know you're going to try to grow out of that. Because yep. we, we see it and we're going to naturally just rah, right? Natural. And, just, and then yep. just pull up. So what ended up happening is the offense got so creative and they're looking at the behavior and then they're adapting their game around it. So it came less than basketball. Like, so I wasn't trying to score. Like, if he had his fourth foul and it's the top of the fourth, Right? And I'm driving and he's still in the lane and he's not out of the circle? Fuck that layup. I'm running right into him. Boom. Ah, get five. Get out. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't care about the layup. I just want to give him his fifth foul. Well, you know yeah. why Adam Silver said what he said, though, is, is contingent to how the game would be boring if we all played good defense like we were in, <laughs> in our time. We were playing certain good, certain schemes were played to a certain point where teams couldn't score. Like it was low scoring games, mm -hmm. you know, the stars weren't being the stars that were showing the highlights because it was a struggle to get shots off and everybody was shooting bad percentages and all that. So you free the game up by calling less fouls. You let guys go, you let, it's less physical. You, I call it soft shell taco, mild sauce. <laughs> soft shell like to, taco, mild these sauce. These niggas air sauce. They can't even have hot they sauce air sauce. Mild it's the mild sauce. <laughs> soft shell taco, mild <laughs> sauce. So with comparison to ours, I feel like we were like, 
the alphas of the era because there was a lot of different kings that had their own teams that was really setting up shop like, all right, this is what we going to do against them. They got their alpha. They got their alpha. They got their alpha. Now I feel like these guys don't even want to be the, the kings of the, of the court. They, they don't set up shop long enough to set up a, a strategy to say this is our shit and we're going to win. So now it's got to be soft because niggas is, is looking for advantages. You know what I'm saying? You got to make a move to do an advantage. You got to get fouls to get an advantage instead of just being an alpha. Like, we play hard. We just wanted to kill each other. Like, yeah, I'm going to beat you tonight. I'm going to beat you tonight. Well, the NBA feels like it's a copycat league nowadays. You know, and the Warriors were on their run. You saw teams across the league trying to mimic that model. Didn't necessarily have the personnel to fit that. A lot of teams. Everybody want to shoot threes now. Everybody's talking about, you know, just analytics. So as the rise of analytics has increased all over the sport of basketball, you know, we value threes now more than twos and, and just simple shit like that. Does the modern NBA have an issue with too many teams trying to play the same way? Mm. Yes, right? You can't do, like when, 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 it, when they started off, I was like, wait, hold on. You're, you're doing analytics on the two, three, four best, best shooters, shooters in the yeah. league on one team, right? Like you, you're taking this one team and they're, what they've done Right, one, one, yeah. one and a half, then you got three, then you got five, you got seven, eight, all on the same team, and you're going to structure the rest of y'all what they're doing, shooting 30, 40 threes. They can do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> they can do it. You can. You have, you, there's 450, you got 450, you got 385, you got 382, you got, like, y- y'all can't score, and that's what the NBA has done. You don't have Steph Clay and you know, um, Steph, Clay, Poole, Katie, you not have those guys. Yeah. You need a, some shit that fits you. Absolutely. Yep. Right? There's no way 90% of the league is shooting more threes than Reggie Miller and Ray Allen. Ray Allen, yep. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Tripping. <laughs> what does that mean? This is crazy as hell. Just to light. chuck them shits. Boston shot. 42 three-pointers yeah. in game seven. Crazy. That's why you lost and got your ass whooped. Who, who y'all got on y'all team? Y'all got Ray, is Ray Allen and Paul Pierce there? <laughs> huh? Do y'all know who's shooting them threes? Phoenix Suns fucked it all up for him, though. Y'all got Larry, Phoenix Ray, shit. But Phoenix, Larry Bird. But look who Phoenix Suns had. They, they, they had, had six it. players yeah. them in the top 15 in three-point percentage and makes. Yep. Now you have to have the personnel <laughs> to do it. Yeah, that's like I, I don't think that the, the I don't think the league is adjusting to who they are. Is so it the you, coaches or is it the league? Is it the is it the co- it has to do with coaches? It's stupid. Yeah, it's, stupid. Do. it's it's the same thing in, a, in a, like well I guess you can't say it in all sports, but even in football you have these coaches or these gurus, right? They're mm-hmm. famous for this structure and this strategy they have, but when you don't have the personnel to fit those, then are you really a good coach? Or do you just have some strategy that works for a group of people, but you don't know how to finesse it for what you have? Mm-hmm. That's good coaching. Mm-hmm. That's, mm. That sounds good. But you know, no, 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 no. Some of them coaches being told from the top, this is how we're going to play now. 100%. Oh, really? 100%. Yeah. Uh, wow. or, or, or I, don't, I don't know how I feel about that Watch as a coach. It? If somebody else is telling me how to coach and then I get fired yeah, off their oh. strategy as opposed to what yeah. I really wanted to do. That's how shit goes. That's how it goes. So so Watson said it. Watson said it. He said, um, you know, I, I got the call down. Hey, yeah, we need to shoot thir- between we need to shoot between 30 to 40 threes. He said, okay. We making some trades? Who going? Who's, shooting, Who's shooting 30? We don't have the people to shoot 33s. We don't have the personnel to shoot 15. Yeah. We got that book. <laughs> but unless he's going to shoot all 15 threes, we don't have nobody capable of the, yeah. to take 15, let alone 30 to 40. Mm. Yeah. It was like a few years ago when the Rockets played Golden State game seven on their home floor. Well, they missed, what, 27 straight? Like over 27, yeah. So. Dog, you got to be out of your rabbit ass mind. To keep shooting them. Yeah. Seven. Like, but if you're being told if you that. Go, don't give a... Listen, man. You got to start free thinking out here, bro. We just... When it gets to like seven, eight... Seven, listen, eight, yeah. We got to go get this quick, free too. Throw. Uh, yeah. Something. We got to go change. They missed 27 straight threes, man. Uh, listen, that's, I get that. That's hard to do. 
to take to, to take go them. to the finals. Yeah, you keep finals. shooting them threes. So, <laughs> threes, <laughs> man. Threes. I think I'm, I'm Jared Jeffries and all. You're not gonna shoot five threes in no game. Not no. in this game. Yeah. Not in this game. Not in this game. Not in this game. I'm not gonna sit there and swing it and then you just. Wait, hold on. What, what are you doing, what man? You... Swing this shit. Go pick and roll. Come back to me. No, like, the no, guys no. are just shooting threes that don't... I don't mean to call the kid out, man, but we, we talking facts here. Listen, the kid Usman Garuba that played for the Rockets. Mm-hmm. Mm. Teeing that thing up nightly. <laughs> they gave him the green light? Nightly. They gave him the green light? Huh? I mean, they... Nightly, <laughs> dog. Can't shoot a lick. What huh? you doing? What you doing out but here? But then he make a he make one, then he make a couple. Now it's like, now, oh shit! He can shoot it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a, he's hey. really gonna keep shooting him now. Like, this no. Easy, the easiest thing to do right now in the NBA is shoot a three. Yes, yes. That's the easiest thing to do. Yeah. Because ain't nobody all the way out there. But that's why no, it's lazy I, I, basketball. Like just, we gonna lazy. pass it, pass it. Shoot it. I'm, I'm gonna shoot it. I'm open. I'm not, I don't need to try to drive. I don't need to work on my handles. I ain't None like so. All guys who are scared of getting hit mm-hmm. and driving and getting to the. That's why I'm looking at like. The the Jalen the, the the Jalen Brown like how do you have two free throws in a game seven and you're that athletic no way and that, that physically no you yes. yeah Trey Young I don't give a fuck what y'all say <laughs> he go get to that line he, he gets his free throws he, He'll get to that he line. was de- he was damn near beating Greek the freaking free throw attempts yes. and made yeah he's a beast he's and you not, telling yeah. me you big bot man you better go in there and try to dunk on that whole team and then yeah. and then another thing that it does it it forces when you're looking at talent, you exclude certain kind of players now, certain guys. Yes. Like you, like you can't tell me there's not another seven foot two, two hundred and ninety pound kid out here that's dominant. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me that, and you overlooking him because oh she can't shoot threes. Yep. <laughs> huh? That's it. You, like, come on, man. Talk about it. Like you, so now it, it's it's handicapping kids now to where it's fucking with their confidence. I mean, I can't shoot threes. Now I'm I want to play at the highest level, but I can't make threes. That's not what I do. But I'm fucking averaging seventy two and thirty in the paint. Yeah. <laughs> in the paint. You know what they haven't realized? They they haven't realized that golden state made you guys bend to their style not on purpose on accident and i'm right just like when everyone was bending to the sun style right four guards and amari right of course they wanted that so when amari went down that lane nobody was there yeah (laughs) like today's game i this is these are the bigs kevin love bam Ping and roll with Bam. Kevin Love's back there. All right. Grant Williams. Bet. Eat. Grant Williams the same size as me. Eat. Bet. Eat. P.J. Tucker. Eat. Hey, man. Bet. Like, don't, don't, that's your back line. Not you. Yeah. Not Shaq. Not Alonzo Morton. Like. Not even Dwight. I got six. Dwight Howard. I got six, three. Huh? Why you think LeBron James can keep doing what he do? When he gets to the lane, ain't nobody big ain't, enough ain't no to resistance. challenge that shit. There's no resistance. Damn. There's no, resi- there's no one even to block it. No resistance. Y'all remember, that la- y'all remember the layup? I, 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 I did this layup, and he did the layup, yeah. and the dude trying to block it. I'm a fucking 6'1". 6'1". I don't see You're you. supposed to smash that shit every time. I don't see you. <laughs> Jaylen, you monkey dunking Jaylen, that bitch. Jalen Brown is the power forward. Yeah. Pop. That's who got to guard. LeBron. Tim Duncan. Yeah. Him. KG. KG. Dirt. Oh. So if that's the four, what, the five is just as big. So when I'm driving, I have two seven footers in there. Oh, now you're telling me Jalen Brown is the. the yeah. Gordon Haywood is the. Yeah, just imagine. People were. Guys got drafted simply to try to guard Shaq. Nothing more than nothing. You big? <laughs> Should I take you? I'll take so you. you, you I'll take you. You know what? I'll take you too. You both, both of y'all. Come on. Come on. Right. You, you, and you. <laughs> Package deal, y'all. Let's Six, go. 12, 18. Yeah, come on. You can't teach yeah. height, man. You can't teach height. That's Body. what it was, man. And now, you, like, to your point, y'all not Steph. You're not Clay. You're not the, and everybody, 
that man single-handedly changed the game of basketball. Everybody thought, well, I can go get me another step. I can go. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> no, you no. can't. You can't. But no. like, you can't go get another Shaq. You can't get another Michael Jordan. Mm-mm. You can't get neither one of them. So everybody different. Let's play the game like it's supposed to be played. That's why I respect Kevin, Dur- Kevin Durant to the utmost. Y'all not fucking changing my game. Listen, y'all can do all that y'all want. I'm going to shoot maybe three threes a night, if that, and y'all going to hold his 30. Three, three threes a night, and he's actually one of top five yeah. point shooters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he ain't wasting his time being seven foot and realize that ain't nobody back there. And can't nobody get to this thing. Yeah, why am I going to sit here and shoot the longest <laughs> shot when I can drive and... <laughs> PJ Tucker right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we come got on, to go man. back to talk culture, though. Like, when AI came in, everybody wanted to be like AI, whether it be dressed or do the crossover, right? Here comes Steph shooting the three. So all of the teams are adopting this culture of shooting the three because this is what all the kids want to do. They just want to shoot the three. So now every team is going to culturefy their organization around shooting the three because it's what all the kids want to do. Before, we wanted to hoop. We just wanted to we wanted to get to the rim, get foul. We had people we idolized that did that stuff. Now all we see is threes. Dame, Steph, Clay, all these guys are pulling up from three. We don't see nothing else. That's all we seeing. And like, go to your point with the big men that's all like, if I'm not shooting a three, I'm not good. Yeah, that's why somebody said it's Joel and B might as well be 6'5". Might as well. Might as well be 6'5". I'm sorry. Yeah. You 6'11", 270 and dog, and you can catch the ball at the free throw line consistently. Mm-hmm. Consistently. If you don't get your ass <laughs> <laughs> underneath the rim, nigga, and there's dump that shit. Because there's nobody there. Yeah. And that's, why, and that's why someone like, that's why someone like Giannis can play the game he plays. And it's right. You have a 6'11 guy who's a hybrid one through five type of player where he can dribble, boards D out, athletic, right? He can come down, five men guarding him. Now they got to put a smaller guy to guard him. And he coming down the lane, you're on, realizing there's nobody back there. Cause he in the corner. You ain't you're on if if Shaq is sitting in the lane. Come on. <laughs> Marcus can be and Kenyon Martin stepping. down there. Come on down here. Both of I'm them. A, I'm gonna turn this hip. Yeah. Shaq gonna turn this hip. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Take that. Now go shoot you too. And then go he gets, shoot you too. Then, then he gets <laughs> out of the game. Up. Like I'm, you can get up. If like, you can get up. I remember I got I got Shaq out of the game. Woo! Lonzo morning. Lonzo morning. <laughs> 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 Playing against playing against the Pistons, yeah. mm. Mm. you get by Rip and Chauncey to dodge Ben Wallace, Tayshawn, Prison, and Rasheed. Shit, man! Yeah. If you had twenty, you had a that's yeah. sixty. Yeah, like you right? said, playing us. If you get past me, you got to deal with MC and yeah. vice versa. Like he leading the league in blocks back <laughs> there. So hey, hey, I, hey, you know what I'm doing? So it's like, yeah, you got yeah, it's hell, but nah, that's, it's. It ain't that no more, like to your point. Like, there's no resistance at the rim. Like, that's why Rudy Gobert stands out. That's why he's yeah. three time, four time defensive player here, because he stands out. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, it's. But, like, even it's, with your. For y'all, phys- physicality is down, right? It's lower, but we never seen injuries higher. So, what's the. What's no. the issue? Oh, I'll tell you what soft, it is. Soft yeah. shell taco, mild sauce. <laughs> that, all the, I'm going to say, all these things are I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to break it simplifying down for you. I'm going to let you get your mm-hmm. point. When I came in the league, when you came in the league, two thousand one, right after you was doing what in training camp? Running. No, but what was how many times a day? Twice a day. We were doing working. two a days, dog. Right? Yeah, two days for sure. Two a days. So you building, like they build you up, by they to break, they breaking you down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So by the time that first game start, like you so then went through the rigorous of your body. Aches, pains, all this in training camp. Well, by the time the season started, like, you feel like, oh, shit, I feel good. Yeah, absolutely. Like, because you didn't went through that. Dude, these dudes might, might be on the floor for two hours when they in training camp. Mate. Might. They might be on the floor for two hours, dog. Mm. What else they doing? Because they, they're going to do a conditioning test when they first get there. Yep. And these dudes hoop all summer. Yep. Hoop. They hoop all summer. <laughs> they hoop. They go hoop. So, therefore... They go, 
that, that's easy for them. They go, boom, 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 but yep. they ain't learning nothing. Mm -hmm. But they're in shape. But they ain't getting that beat down and yeah. the lifting of Rigorous the real weights. Body, and yeah. Like I told KJ last summer, all the new training you're doing is great, dog. All the flexibility, the bands, <laughs> and the mobility, elongating your muscles, and that shit is great. But if you're trying to build endurance and strength, and this, you got to go throw some real iron around. Thank dog. you. Yes. Thank you. You got to throw some steel. You got to go. There. I'm talking about dumbbells, barbells, Only. shrugs, like yeah, get off real the weights. Yep. He played 82 games. Yeah. And they don't really, 82 games. This is, they don't realize. 80 like, last year. Muscles, your muscles, your tendons get softer as mm. you get weaker. Right? So if you're not strengthening them during the course of the season, you're going to have knick-knack injuries. Yep. So, like, before training camp, I'm doing my line drills and running the bleachers and putting my body. So when training camp comes... You know what I mean? The first two days, you know, ah, hammy, you know what I mean? That, that, that rent, that's normal, right? You right. got the first two days, that, 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 that second day, like, ah, I got to get through. And you're running through this yeah. stuff, right? They don't have that now, mm -hmm. right? So when they decide to do the things that they body the natural do, jump up, they pull in hammies, that hammy been tested yet. Yeah. That quad ain't been tested yet. That quad's being tested by somebody coming at you. Mm -hmm. You've been doing all this going against your trainer. Well, they not hey, man, and, 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 hey, you. NBA combine. Stop that dumb shit, all right? You got your little soft-ass trainers, five, 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 seven, sit here playing a little defense. He Contesting your shot. <laughs> show me five, five, and five, seven in the NBA. Hmm. You wonder why half the people y'all pick is busting out. Y'all letting them go through these token-ass workouts. Five, 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 seven, five, eight. Do this. Come off the screen. And first of all, hold on. I'm sorry. I had to jump. Preach. It just Preach. fucked me up. Preach. Preach. No, 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 no. 99% of you motherfuckers out there that's coming into the draft, y'all ain't doing none of that shit. Y'all over here working in the pick and roll, and you're going to be a corner dude. Put your ass in the corner. Pick and roll. Dive on the ball. Y'all got these guys doing things that y'all worked on that's not going to be their game or their game. So you guys are getting drafted and wonder why shit ain't working out for you. Because you're doing things that just ain't. Yeah, ain't Productive. Yeah, we don't need you. Yeah. Talk about it. We got a guy for that. Hey, don't think the hey, league thank, like that, though? Hey, we got a guy for that. You guys don't think the league likes this, that they want more threes, they want... Like more scoring yeah, and more sure. excitement. Think, no. yeah. They want all five positions to be able to shoot the ball, and that's a European style of basketball. When you're in Europe, the there's no one through five. Not for when I played anyway. Everybody can dribble. Everybody can shoot. Everybody is passing. There's like we run a motion. So wherever you land up, I can land up in the post. I'm posting up if my if I got a girl, which a lot of times the girls were shorter than me, because I'm a point guard. If I if I do a screen down on the big man. I can just as well pass to her for a three as she can pass the post, post up for me. And I just feel like maybe the NBA is looking at more of a European style of basketball <laughs> where everybody's able to play all positions and do all things as opposed to like a big man, you just stay down here in the block. I think they like it. We talk, we're talking about the, the, the injury prevention part, right? But like, that's because, yeah. And that, that, that comes to the entertainment value, mm -hmm. right? We can't be entertainment out of the league if we don't have – Injury prevention. So a lot of these guys are being injured every year because they're not taking care of the body. Everything mm -hmm. you just said. So for me, being a trainer for the last since I was started the big three, I've been um, really harping on having myself be an example of what it is to be a professional athlete and what it looks like, right? And uh, Corey McGetty used to be my testament because I always wanted a body like that to be able to. Pause. I wanted, I wanted, a, I wanted a, 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 a linebacker type. Of <laughs> no, that's not possible. I don't know. She, <laughs> no, she's a pause. Mm. Go ahead. Corey McKinney was up. No, uh, she didn't watch basketball. I guess not. But uh, <laughs> let, let me, Corey, Corey had, Corey had the linebacker body, right? Yeah, exactly. So Corey was. was, Corey was the guy that you always fouled. Like he was always durable. He always went to the free throw line. Mm -hmm. So I, I like that part of his game, but I knew he couldn't shoot it like me and move like me. So I look at, as a fitness trainer, trying to get these guys in their legs right, DeMarcus Cousins see me in the gym and was like, damn, big bro, you big as fuck, man. What you be doing? Like, I'm like, I'm staying 
in shape and I'm, I'm, I'm injury free. Like, I wish I could help you, bro. Come fuck with me. I could get your legs right. Like these trainers is doing shit that we don't do as hoopers. They don't they didn't they not in there doing the shit that they teaching you to do. Like, but the shit that I know that I've done and that all of us has done in the weight room that worked for us, mm -hmm. that's what we should teach because it's not being taught. So now these guys are getting injured with the hamstrings and the ACLs, and I know exactly why, because when I got diagnosed with certain things, I paid attention to what the doctor's saying. I'm listening to the ass, like, okay, I'm taking a course. So now if I wanted to really, like, train you or Kenyon or BJ and all y'all would be able to show, like, how... I transfer my body to a certain stand where I can go out there and still shoot, still make a hundred and out of ninety eight. You know what I'm saying? Cap. Cap. <laughs> ninety eight. Cap. You feel me? Cap. Uh -huh. But also, Cap. you know, teach, <laughs> teach the techniques and how 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 that can help your body and what you need to eat and all those kind oh, of things. No, We're not giving back in that sense because it's not a lot of. Not a lot of us former athletes in the fitness realm where we actually can teach. You performing. you be on machines though. You just watching me too much. No, you you, <laughs> you just watching me too. You much. posted yourself. No, nah, I don't, don't, po po don't post nothing. And if you that really, was just, that was cheap just a weights. Bit. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was huh? not a good representation. Cheap, weight. cheap ways it goes, Jim. Yes, it don't even make sense. It don't even make sense. I heard they got she works out at her house. I, listen, exactly. She doesn't I, have a I real. I go to the gym for I the most part. You have a little closet gym. I don't have a closet gym. I move around real weight. I have a real gym. Move around real weight. I have a real gym. I go to. And there's no machines in there either. That's too bad. It's all bad. You see my machines work. See, you can see. Like I've been listening. I'm in the gym more than you see. I ain't getting this. I ain't getting one muscle. There's a lot of dudes with muscles that ain't really strong. You can see my shit on the machine just like and that weight you put on there was not good today you know, like you good today girl. i know how to oh, add shit. weight got too. a new one <laughs> yeah she ain't a consistent yeah yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, she wore that outfit last week oh. <laughs> yeah, she, I, like, I, be, I just be booty watching that's I, how you be straight through the gym you, you be straight I mean, yeah. I just be sitting on the way. Be there. Why I, like, Listen, I get to the gym eight o'clock. I don't touch nothing until about ten, ten thirty. He really be and walking around. Like, oh, we got the show. I gotta go. <laughs> 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 I ain't done. I ain't done nothing. Oh my no. god. But no, no. But for real, like the NBA, <laughs> I think it's NBA personnel, the people who are, you know, in the draft, drafting these guys. I just don't think they're educated enough. No. Right? They're not smart. Like, do you not understand who you guys are? I didn't play. Right? If you want me to, if you want to, like, not spur, how about this? The number two, three, Jordan, bring me in, let me evaluate your talent. Because I know one thing that's not going to happen. You're not going to tell me you coming by yourself. Mm. Right? I got the number two or number three, number four pick. You're not going to tell me you're going to come here, work out by yourself. No way. The fuck you mean you by yourself? I'm telling you, I don't know who you are. You are a college player, right? You were good in college. This is a whole nother fucking beast here. Yes, sir. I need to see if you can handle going up against James Harden and Tatum and Jimmy Butler. How the fuck do I know that you playing one on one with the damn staff member? No, 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 no. No. Scoot. Scoot, kid from Alabama. Do you guys who I'm looking for? Hey, OTE, Head twin. Up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, how about this? That's I how got, we had to do it, right? I got used you. I used to be. They don't do that no more. Yeah. I, got, hey, I, got, I got the number two pick. They hiding them. Let's go. I want to see three them. days straight. Yeah, they hiding them. They, hide they too. Yeah. They too. Like, before, like, just, they, they pretty much saying, if he was supposed to get dressed, like, listen, we when he was going to go work out for, yep. for the Mavericks. Have you show up. Have you fucking going to be there. They Asians, don't do they that no playing more. that game. Yeah, Absolutely. Got somebody in the back. Hey, Shaw coming down here on January 3rd. Like, shit, Gil will be there. Again. Send him. He'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, 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 like, it's crazy. Even, you got to see even, what like, you're buying. Even if I have Wimby and I'm the number one pick, I want to see it, yes. though. Yes. Yeah. You I, guess, I guess the own. Like, I, I don't care. Like, I don't give, like, he's the number one pick. I don't. Look, I know the number two and three and four and five is supposed to be guards. Eight is supposed to be another bit. Come on. Yeah, whoever it is. Whoever. We can yeah. get two I'm more in here. Just, what I'm saying is I'm not just going to say, all right, I'm picking. And there's a reason that the lottery itself, 14 players, 13, only two, one, two, two and a half are all-stars from there. 
The rest of the All-Stars is coming after mm. Mm. because they're not seeing something because just individual workouts, everyone looks great. And you can't, there's a reason Joker went second round. You can't see what he's great at 100%. Yeah. In, in, a, in a one-on-one workout. Yeah. That shit is phony. Yeah. Looking great, dunking. They done. Look, some of them the set up. Some the of them. Days, listen, the pro days. Some, like the pro football day. pro days, man. I'm sure. No, they, the NBA pro day. Yeah. Now they got pro some, days. They, all these agencies got pro days now. Man, fuck, yeah. fuck y'all pro day. That's they got pro days. Let like them work that. out with me. I guarantee, I guarantee you they done after two minutes. 100%. I'm not playing that dumb shit. All right, go pick on roll, nah. then you're gonna come pass it, then come back off the hand off and, and go nah, windmill that, that thing. Yeah. With those windmill, eyes, yeah. Listen, windmill listen. while motherfucker like, somebody back there about to block. Yeah. What? And y'all wonder why half these guys who got 43 ain't never dunking on nobody in the game. Yeah. I'm with yeah. I, yeah. You know, like that's why I tell like if KJ could have got to do a pro day, a lot of them niggas wouldn't have been seen. Dog. All this he did. <laughs> Nigga, oh, oh, hey, hey, get three cuts on your forehead. Yeah, man, KJ got that <laughs> motherfucker. You know what? Man, listen, he's been at a gym full of what I saw the other day at the pro day I went to. Listen, man, every NBA team, two, three people from every NBA team in that box. Had he been able to do the workout that I saw them kids doing? That's crazy, man. Oh, my God. Crazy. Like, it's, man. Lottery. He would have been lottery pick. If you look at them, if you look at the job, you're like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> And people don't even know some of this shit. They lord some of them agencies. They lord the rim. Oh yeah. Shut up. Damn, Gil. Reed. You letting out the secrets. <laughs> lord the rim. Real? Nine and a half. Nine point seven. So they get the little extra inch. Why y'all think y'all be seeing dudes' heads be at the rim and then you never see it in the NBA? That's wild. Preach. That's like magician secrets were getting revealed, Gil. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, no, I'm just kidding. Look, I can tell you, you ever understand? Real- hey, you seen them Sierra King uh, pro days? That It's just that one rim be loading them. <laughs> one hey, rim. Yeah, he gifted now. Yeah, he gifted that. Yeah, he put his son. <laughs> he seen them. Wait, who was that kid? Like, he like he was literally like this. He ain't, there was one. I don't know if he went to the Knicks. Jericho Sims. Sims? Jericho Sims. Like, come on, man. That's, just, that's like the low rim at Cal State Dominguez Hills for those who remember those days. Yeah, man. Yeah, that, that's all that cheating shit, man. Like, y'all, like, yeah. NBA, y'all need to stop getting food. Yeah. Mm. Like, this is real basketball. Like, what's real basketball? You guys are putting too much money. Like, if this is really what you guys are about, right, all these psych tests, these psych stupid tests y'all want to do, do you want to cook or clean? Neither. I want to hoop. Yes. Oh, do you want to build a store? I don't want to do none of that <laughs> shit. I, I want to do hoop. none of that shit. Motherfucker asked me, he asked me this. He said, all right, it's the last, but do you want to hit the game-winning shot? Make the game-winning steal or the game-winning pass, right? I said, ooh. <clears throat> <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm sitting here trying to outthink this motherfucker, knowing I, obviously I want to shoot. Obviously. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> God damn it, what you talking about? It's Michael Jordan. Everybody want to shoot the last shot. Now I got to try to outthink him. Uh, what he think I'm going to say? Ooh, I want the game winning rebound. I was like, what? Game winning rebound. Because it's me versus the other nine. Oh, shit. Ooh, I never heard that answer before. <laughs> That's an amazing answer. You're going to be a star like this nigga. <laughs> he pulled it. it. He pulled it. He pulled it. You know how selfish I am? I don't, I'm not gonna pass it to nobody. Right now. No, it's all hey, shit. I want to get the rebound, dribble this bitch, and go one four flat. <laughs> that, 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 but, that's that's what that's soul. but they're putting their money into the, the things that they, they don't like. Matter. Come on, that don't matter. Those I don't give don't a shit matter. what you're thinking about. Like, are you hooping? Like, I don't like. But that's like, yo, show. I want to see you play. I want to <laughs> see your, your 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 actions. How do you play when a Kenyon Martin's out there? Are you gonna back down? Or are you going back? Because Listen, somebody like Cat, he looks great against this. But then you got somebody like Jimmy Butler gets in his head every time. Every time. And B gets in his head every time. I need to see it. Yeah. So I know how many games I'm going to lose you. I got a cap. Oh, I don't got a 2 2 against him. 3. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 17. I a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got 17 games. You ain't going to be shit. Uh, uh, you're number two pick. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with this guy, number one. It's safe. All right. Yeah, nah, I'm with it, man. It's just, yeah. Like, and I'm, like I said earlier in the show, we were talking about the Wimby kid. Like, can he play this, that, and the third? He's probably the most skilled player we've ever seen before. And the size, all that shit is true. Yeah. But is he pussy? Absolutely. <laughs> I just need to know when the shit get tough. <laughs> get shit get tough. Yeah. Yeah. Put them dogs. What you going to do? Put Everybody them dogs. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw, but he went through the legs and dug. Ooh. 
Everybody's seven posting foot. the video. But I think he seven finished five. that game with 13 and 10. So I'm like, wait. He's 7'5. 13 and he's 10. Seven 13 five? and 10 in, in the French seven Pro four, League. Seven game. Five. Oh he, he's they posted a picture of him and Rudy. So you know, ESPN's rocking the highlights last night. I'm watching, like, okay, that's that's cool. Like the the warm up dunk is nice. What's cool highlights at? But listen, at seven at listen, at seven five, he can do that. I mean, of course, you got to take a number one. The number one pick is like, it has to be him. Now, that's what I said. The number two, three, four, right? You got them, them twos, them threes. Like, if, if you're MJ, you don't have no yeah. chance to just be picking, make, make a good, the right. Whoever pick. the second, third, fourth, make them come in there and play. And earn that pick. pick. You are the number two pick. Earn that pick. If they say I don't want to come, cool. You're not cool. the number two pick. Yeah, not the right. number two. What you talking about? Earn that. Earn, yeah. earn, yeah. earn me picking you too. Thirty million dollars. You you supposed to be a fringe. I got Lonzo. I got Lamelo, and I need a two or a three. I'm That's looking it. at both y'all. Y'all That's are going to duke this motherfucker out. Scoot Brandon Miller got to come. Yeah. 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 No, and, have a trial. And, and, the, and the, uh, the twin. Twin, amen. Yeah. Amen. And then, three. And might look at some other players. If I'm the number two pick, I'm the number three pick, these three players are attached through the I don't want to yeah. see not one of y'all by yourselves. But yeah. we talked about this on. It seems like, especially in the minor, you talk about football, think about the combine and, and yeah. top quarterbacks. So I'm not throwing at the combine. Yeah. Like, if you really, if you really that dude, but the fuck you hiding for? But it feels like agents will strategically try to hide these dudes. Like at some point, your ass gonna have to get thrown into the fire and come to the light. So mm -mm. Yeah, it's like Calvin right. Jones. Calvin Jones, like y'all want to see what? I ain't bring no shoes. You know what, man? What size is them? Yep. You know, let, let me let, let me let me borrow them for these forty seconds, man. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I need these about a minute. I need. I'm, let me go run this four. I went. Did, 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 did I them four three five out here? <laughs> and and he, he can have these back. It's not the agent. Like, I'm gonna show them no. it's, it's the players that's telling the agent. Nah, no, that's what it was no, told. The no, it ain't. They it's told. The this is what it was told it's to me by two different agents. It's like we wanted him to play against these guys, and he said he wanted to to uh, work out alone. <laughs> Prefer to because they give them the option like we you can work out alone or you can go in here and work out with yeah nine and a half times out of ten it's the agent man it's the agent it's the agent hiding him I, I remember when I was uh, when I was trying out I went to seventeen tryouts I was trying to get Mo because I I don't you know I don't know who's who let me let me see let me test it all right <laughs> no you ain't got it like I can you know you can you can tell they not doing it no more and I'm I'm. I'd be the number two pick, and I ain't see none of them. I mean, it'd be ticking down. Yeah. All right, Charlie with the number two pick. Who y'all got? I ain't got nobody, all right? They're going to have the motherfucker work out. Hey, suits and everything. Right here. Line up. Draft. Line up. Draft. Hey, draft day. Day. Which one of y'all? Whoever wins. Don't ball. Don't the time ball. we need to start, no, we all do the what, best out of five. What, what time do? we got to start? What are they going to do? Move it to the number three? No, nah, they ain't going to move it to number three. They got to go do no. Go. Hey. Uh huh. Y'all trying to dodge me all goddamn summer. Go now, goddamn. Draft store at seven thirty. I need y'all here at five. This shit crazy, man. Like the <laughs> shit is like. Give you an hour. I'm gonna give you an hour. That's what I said. It, test, it, it don't test. It don't test heart. It don't test determination. It don't test none of those factors. You know, fight or flight. It don't test yeah. none of that. Yeah. You are gonna find out in real time. Yeah, because had they told me, that, had I been healthy for one, for two, if they would have been like, well, we need you to work out against. To see if we gonna oh, yeah, do you that. Hurt when you got judgment. Yeah, I, yeah, I went healthy. Oh no, but that was. But but, was, but, but had yeah. they to, but but had they told me that right? I need you to work out against you, Marcus mm -hmm. Fizer, Stromal Swift, <laughs> Chris Me. I'm just saying, had they told me, I would have been like, shit, line them up. Yeah. You know I'm saying that's what I, that just like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all what this is. That's you know Stromal was two, right? Yeah. yeah, it was. It was no, no, no. I remember that. It was. It yeah, was, but um, but had it was they lined wanted. it up that way, I would have did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I would no question about it. Like, I'm finna show y'all what this really is. No, you know yeah. how, but think about, think about that. Mm -hmm. That was her. And they did it. What I'm saying is, the, the, the number one pick is hurt, right? He's hurt. We, we still picking him number one. That's how far in front of y'all that he, he is. is. That he's, he's hurt. We and we, we still gonna pick him. And coming off of the pre-draft workout that I put on display. <laughs> like, them people's like, yeah. We out of mind to pick this boy, but I had the best pre-draft workout in history. <laughs> like, I'm not healthy all the way, but I'm mm -hmm. on the court a little bit. Well, we don't know if we're going to pick him. Ah, we, well, we need to see him run and jump. I was, 
I'm a literal guy, I, black and white. Mm -hmm. Ain't no gray area with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going. <laughs> I went out there, got ready to loosen up, got stretched and all that shit. And I got, I literally ran down the floor, ran back, dunked the basketball, and went and took my shoes off. And that was it. With the Nets. I got the number one pick. Mm. People had Up, down. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't even a real dunk neither. <laughs> it was a, some light, and all right, boom, and oh, I took my shit off. I'm like, nah, okay. <laughs> Y'all ready? Y'all ready? <laughs> <laughs> the people were like, what are you doing? I was like, uh, I'm done. They said, you need to see me run? I ran. You need to see me jump? <laughs> I, I jumped. <laughs> the end. Here you go. Yeah. We already know the rest, though. Yeah, that's it. That's, <laughs> rest. So to your point, yeah, it's like to your point now. But I just, yeah, but just lining dudes up, have them go battle it out, man. I'm with it. 1,000. Yeah, if you were running a pre-draft workout, how would you approach it? You Depend. said you don't, you don't fuck with the, the way they work now, so how would you change it up? I'm a team. I'm a team. I'm bringing in my own trainers. I'm the team. Yeah. Obviously, whatever you're going to do, you're going to cater to your guy, right? So it's going to be it's going to yeah. be structured to what he does, mm -hmm. right? So even if he's out of condition, you're going to know how to time it. Like, yeah. okay, go get a little breast. Okay, break real quick. Go shoot uh, those. Maybe tie your shoes real quick. Like, I because I know you out of shape, mm -hmm. so I have to protect you as my investment. Yeah, it's just like the NFL on these quarterbacks. They they throwing these routes, these pro days. They've been throwing these same routes for six weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These Do guys been working on the same routine because this is what we're going to put on display for the coaches, for the cats, for the cats. That's so what cool. they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? It's so cool. Like, this is what they, like. I need to see Micah Parsons chasing one of those. Absolutely. Let, let, you know, let, let Micah like, Parsons be over the end and they say, go. <laughs> and you get away from him, you get this bitch to the man they need to get it to. Then we, then, then, oh, you know what? Yeah, you the first. <laughs> yeah. Like but, it's, yeah. Yeah. I, I prepare the guys like I was doing some training for for combine and um, I always, depending on which team, go through the team playbook. We're gonna go through this team's plays hmm? and we're gonna actually prep for this team and they're gonna watch you run sets that they run mm -hmm. and you're gonna dominate doing these sets and that's gonna get you drafted because it's nothing that you need to be, you know, uh, introduced to new. Mm -hmm. Now you know it. Now every team you go work out for, with me being your trainer, you're going to be uh, more understanding of the playbook that you're, you're, you're trying out for. And now you look at each player who goes into the combine knowing they, they got to train for a set. They learn the sets as they go. But NBA yeah. don't even have sets anymore. They don't even have, they don't even fucking have sets no more. So like you said, a guy who's doing all this shit, he going to be a corner guy, right? So we like, damn. So as trainers, you're like, we're only going to set up for these corner guys to make shots, shooting threes. Because ain't no other part of the game that they, they got that they can like, use. Like even the athletic guys, right? right? You're 45 inch vertical, right? The, the last thing you're going to do on my workout is dunk. Man. <laughs> I don't want to see that shit. I know you can do that. All right. I know you, unless we're going to jump over a car and th three humans in here. Like, this ain't impressive. I know you can do that. Let's see if we can do everything else. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think one of like the my things workout, I'm killing you. Like first 30 minutes is my son hate me. In the morning, because he still be sleepy. First 30 minutes is all dribbling drills. We're gonna I'm gonna burn him out first, burn his legs out, gotta be on your what's the name. From there, now, now we taking shots when you have nothing left for me. Yep. Don't you guys think the NBA doesn't put enough emphasis on like strength training? Like I think there's a lot of emphasis on the game and skills. But, like, I think a lot of the injuries that are taking place is also because guys just aren't actually lifting weights, like, really working out. I think that that's mm. something that, that's not important enough to the game. Because I feel like that's a part of being injured. That's a part of, like, longevity, being able to play 82 games. Hey, he ain't, he ain't touching yeah. the weight. He ain't touching weight. I'm wiry strong, is what they call it. Yeah. Two, two, yeah, two push-ups, getting in one, two. Now, you know, because back then they had like kind of like mandatory weightlifting. Yeah. They ain't say how long. Yeah, like Chuck said, ask him why he don't lift weights. He said it hurt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said it hurt. <laughs> hey, go on there, do two push-ups, do this. All right, I'm out. Check out. I came yeah. in. Y'all yeah. saw me. Yeah. I let no. Nah. I'm like, no, nah, we got all this. Hey, man, this, all that ain't helping me score this bucket, okay? Yeah. That, that, that court down there does that. All right? It's going to help go you last here. 82 games if somebody hits you coming through the paint, though. 
Could help you. Could help you. Landing even like if your if your quads aren't strong, your hamstrings aren't strong, you coming down landing, you don't realize how that affects your knee. No, I get it. It's a lot. It's Sounds a like lot. some football shit. It's, a, it's an <laughs> athletic <laughs> training <laughs> thing. It's about being. Do, do a couple of squats right here. I'm good. That used to be my workout. I go in there, little five little squats, little seven little calf raises. Do this a little bit. I'm good. I, I wouldn't even bullshit. get a massage on my arm till this day. I know you don't. You no massage. It's gonna mess up your, your right muscle here? memory. None of this. You ain't touching this. God, this guy's work right here. This is. I put this on eBay. You can touch everything but this right here. I ain't letting you mess up. Not a muscle, not a tweak. I done tweaked this motherfucker just right. You just tuned it like a guitar. Uh, <laughs> out of his mind. Yeah. You, you see, I ain't never had no definition in his arm. <laughs> Ready? I right, lift. All right. And this motherfucker, stay free right here. Don't touch this one. Like a tennis player. <laughs> So we got about 7,000 people in the chat right now. We appreciate y'all. I need to get that number up to 10K so we can make Gil hit this oh, blunt. As oh, always, man. presented by Underdog Fantasy. Go ahead, download the app. Use promo code GILSARENA. They will match your first deposit up to $100. Help us help you. Help us stay on the air. Y'all see a lot of bullshit out there. We're not going to name no shows or no names. But we're trying to run them off the block. All right? We got that good pack. Hey, man, I heard somebody said they ain't like my shirt. Listen. You saw that? I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring no attention to it, Gil. But they What's was trying to find a shirt in the chat. Huh? What they say is wrong with it. It's a collar. Huh? It's a collar. What's wrong with a collar? It's a jersey it's a, and it has a, a collar, collar with a V-neck. And, <laughs> and it's, 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 it's a three-way. It's, it's you got a three-way shirt. on. Three-way shirt. Listen, I just be grabbing shit. All right. Just <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> be trying to figure out some shit with the shoes. Right. You the coach. You the coach and the player. It's today. free. Yo. Yeah, that shit's hot. Hey, free 99. You know, whoever said it, that in there is hey, free, goddammit. Hey, but it looks good on <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't want to wear this shit. I just got to order from it's the free. site. I just, I that, I just be ordering on the site. Hey, free 99, baby. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with free. No. You turn nothing down but your collar. <laughs> the chat, Literally. The chat <laughs> is frowning. Uh, there you you know, go. Make some comments. See, you. see what you did there. Got that, got that, 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 what, that 80s porn look? <laughs> 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 With that, 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 Jeremy. That, 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 the porn color. The satin. The satin. Oh, my God. Not Ron Jeremy. <laughs> but let's, let's talk a little bit uh, about these finals coming up, current playoffs. We're going to talk about <laughs> Mr. Confidence Coffee himself, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy's been riding the wave this postseason, is looking to strike while the iron's hot. Uh, playoff Jimmy filed a trademark for mm. Hemi Buckets. Mm-mm-mm. Hemi, Hemi. Hemi Buckets plans to launch his own uh, branded beverages and apparel. So quickly, just want to ask the crew, y'all rolling with the Hemi Buckets trademark? For a beverage? Be apparel. Some apparel sounds like right for Hemi Buckets. Some shirts and shit. Yeah. A, a drink. You're not going to drink it good? Hemi Buckets on it? All right. What if you, it tastes good? You drink Starry, though. Who? Hemi Bucket, you know how long that is on a cup or? A You'll drink sushi or sushi or water. That's su su so. Su so su 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 Hemi Buckets. Hemi Buckets. Same, if, same shit. What if sushi it was like Hemi Buckets? Next to each other, they're the same. Six letters versus what, 45? <laughs> what if you just called it Hemi? <laughs> I mean, if you call it Hemi, yeah. You'll fuck with it just Hemi? Hemi B? Hemi Water. Why not just Hemi? Just Hemi. Yeah. Hemi water. I think somebody probably got the Hemi. I think yeah. somebody got the Hemi. This is a Hemi, Hemi buckets for a drink or a snack. Mm. <laughs> Give me some of that Hemi. Stop being hate him. Don't hate on the... Come on, man. That sound, you, you that got, sound a little different. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use that. <laughs> I'm drinking... It sounds like Hemi. No, 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 so no, 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 no. I want some of that Hemi. <laughs> Come on here. Give me some of this Hemi. It's about, you know, you, you use that... Hey, chat, you use that about like... like uh, Late night, about 11.35, when you're lonely, hit him up like, yo, want to come get a little Hemi? <laughs> come get a little Hemi, that's it. Right. Come get a little Hemi. <laughs> yeah. so, so we'll keep that's this quick, but, but Butler joins a long list, current former players to get into the trademark game. Obviously, Embry's got Air Jordan. Brian got Strive for Greatness. He tried to trademark Taco Tuesday. Somebody already owned it, so he just ended up getting a bag out of Taco Bell for it. Try to... Trademark some of that shit that's been around forever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's the shit. I know what I'm saying. Yeah, but we were Taco it. Tuesday and like. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's been around, so you're just going to. 
Come no, here, what? stupid. Let me, yeah, let me try to get this. See. <laughs> no. Boy, this has been on right. T-shirts and the hats yeah. and shit forever. For the most part, nobody be trademarking some of this stuff. But you, you know, you, no, you, yeah. I'm saying you never you know. Yeah. See. I'm saying you never know. It's probably been trademarked. Nobody has probably ever used it for mm-hmm, anything. For sure. It's been yeah. trademarked probably forever now. He go try to put his name on it, be like, ah, got it. <laughs> got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> how you do it, too. Somebody yeah. did it on my so, son. They got my son name already. I'm sorry. They got the website? They get our names Which before one? we yeah. even come out. They get Which our names. And they're trying to, yeah. yeah. Nah, you had an article about that back in the day. Like Somebody you. jacked your shit and tried to sell it to you. Like, how you going to yeah. own my name? That's, yeah. Yeah, that's why I did. I, like, I don't tweet. That's why I get everything, every social media, everything that came out. I, I got it immediately. Yeah, yeah. I don't use half of it, yeah, but yeah. Just, just in case. I got it in my name. I, 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 I beat you to it. <laughs> beat you to you, it. You can fan page that thing, <laughs> or you can whatever you need, but you ain't. Yeah. Kobe has Black Mamba. AI has the answer, but it's a little shaky if he owes somebody some bread for coming up with that nickname. And B trademarked the process. And we're talking about Jack and uh, Pat Riley, famously Jack Three Pete mm-hmm. from Lakers Reserve Guard, West Matthew Sr. And Wes and I said, I hope you can see a little bit of bread, Pat. Come on. Mm. And Gil, you got a couple of your own. You got Hibachi and you got, you got Agent Zero? Yeah, I got Hibachi and Agent Zero. That's why I couldn't name these the Agent Zeros. And it'd be uh, Gil Restomas. Why can't you name them the Agent Zero? Somebody got it? He owns it. I own it. But you can't. You can't Adidas don't own it. But Adidas you can't license can't. it to Adidas? No. They don't want to break the money. <laughs> That's money, all I'm money, trying to money. say. I don't do shit for free. But that's what I'm trying to say. Adidas got, got, got Asian Zero trucking. I don't know what it's, it's trucking out there, but it's trucking. It's trucking. It's trucking. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what it's trucking, but it's trucking. I got a hibachi yeah. farm. I don't know what kind of farm it is, but it's farm, man. <laughs> so who's, who's got your uh, favorite trademark in NBA history? Favorite trademark? Is it your own shit? Mm-hmm. To be honest, you don't know what people have. I mean, you know. Of the things that are out there, I just, I just mentioned. You rolling oh, the are the ones that... The, I mean, obviously, Jordan. Magic, does Magic, what is it? Magic Johnson Enterprises, I believe, but. Oh, I like Magic. The, I like the answer. The answer is baller. But Magic was smart because he was selling all those t shirts back in the day with people's faces on it and all those, like, you know, remember those customized graphic tees back in the day? I think Jordan might have got salty about it, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Moonwalker, Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh. Was that, was that trademarked up? Moonwalker. Oh, that's mm-hmm. lit. Uh-uh. So if you to do hibachi though, know, that's that's gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's gangster. And I like three people. Pat Pat Riley got his Elvis on. I don't really respect him. But does he use it? But I think anybody who tries anybody to use three feet is on check. But that's pointless. Hmm? That's pointless. What is cross sport? That, that, I don't think when people when you trademark shit, like use it. Don't just trademark it so nobody else using it. They use it, you get money. Well, obviously, if I know I got to pay you, I ain't using it. Like Hot Girl Summer. come up with something else. Like, no one's going to use Hot Girl Summer, so that means it's out. And somebody going to use three-peat when you three-peat So Pat Pat made $300,000 on the the first Bulls three-peat, according to our... The first Bulls, because nobody knew he had it. How about the second Bulls? Nope. You know MJ was hating. It's a repeat. <laughs> it's a repeat. It's a, it's a back to back to back. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> 600, yeah, 698. Paid, back to back to back. Paid back regardless back if he doubled up. do it or not. Oh, he, if people use the word, use the term three P. No, that's not. No, you have to. You you. It's not. You have to sell product to make merch, money merch. off yeah, of you it. Make t-shirts yeah, any kind of merch. So nobody's gonna make three P. That's why he made three hundred thousand the first time because nobody knew he had it. But then you made six hundred the second three P. He made it. Yes, bro. Anytime you use the word, nigga, How you about get that paid. Is it? No, not if you use the word. You have you have to make money from the word. That's what I'm saying. Anytime you're using the word and you're making money off of but, it. Ching. But what, what I'm saying is, why would I use a word that I know I can't? You can't like you still said, make you money. Don't you know. have to they give him know. a percentage. Yeah, I don't. But why would I want to do? Why that? would I want to do that? When I can come up with a whole own your own thing. What's better than three P? When Triple you P. Three in a row. Triple P. That's better. <laughs> like than if somebody three right, if somebody like let, let's say I'm a, 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 a I'm a business right. Triple Triple P. P. I'm a business and I'm selling basketball merchandise and some team just won a championship. I know my proceeds if I write three P goes to this dude. So I'm gonna put one, two, three. three. Yep. Triple Pete. I want all my profit. Yeah. Why do you think about it? Every time you write three Pete and you sell, you gotta give it him. So you're gonna change the word in. Uh, not all of it, know. but a percentage. But if you don't know, now nah, that's don't the know. You don't know. <laughs> I'm fucked. Yeah, how much would you yeah, pay for GilbertArenas.com right now? GilbertArenas.com? Or do you own it yet? I pay zero. You wouldn't pay one dollar for it. No. Okay. Make I don't I don't I don't 
because, because can, I don't like social media like because that. Because he can just go create gilbertareads.org. Yeah, yeah, edu. edu. Why do you think most of my stuff is no chill? Why do you think most of my stuff is no chill, Gil? What was the funniest? Every time I changed my name, somebody took my name so I couldn't get it back. Yeah. Like I, I had to like on Instagram because Gilbert Arenas is going. I had to go G I. It's crazy. It was a G dot I dot L dot. Yeah, I had to do I dot, that. in between. It's yeah. crazy. Damn. Okay, that's why I got mine from the beginning. That's not a good look. Good. Like from the beginning, yeah. when I wasn't fucking around with you people out here, y'all was sad. That's why I'm just no chill, Gil. What's the most somebody asked you for to, to get, get come up off the Gilbert Arenas handle? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's not even a conversation. No, it ain't a conversation. Like, There's not a conversation. What if they're a lifelong because I'm not gonna pay anything. They've been holding it for you, just waiting for you to come ask. Because I'm not gonna it, pay. It, it, I'm not gonna pay anything, so it's not a conversation. Yeah. It depends. It depends on what I'm really talking about. Like LeBron James' name is gone, so it's King James. Like you know, it's like we just changing it. The money sniper. We we know who it is. <laughs> so Steph, Steph Curry ain't got his name. Like that shit don't work like that. It's ain't 1980, man. All right, bro. I'm just trying to, you know. It's ain't 1980. <laughs> trying to help you get your shit right. Uh, these motherfuckers, listen, these dudes trying to, people were trying to find the easiest way to make a buck off of yeah. mm-hmm. So if they think they can use your name, your likeness, your appearance, whatever they can possibly do, your autograph, mm-hmm. whatever they think they can possibly do to gain some type of advantage, monetary value, something from it, they going to do it. For sure. So we talked a lot about Jimmy Butler's confidence on the show. Some think he's the most confident player in the playoffs. Some are just one. Some don't. <laughs> Some are uh, just haters. Some are just hate. But, t- but tennis star Coco Golf knows firsthand the level of confidence that Butler has in himself and his team. Before the playoffs even started, I guess Coco's a, a big Heat fan. She's from Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, she asked, she asked Jimmy for some yeah. tickets, said she was going to be out of town. He was like, don't worry, I got you uh, for the finals. This is before the first playoff game was played. And he were in the playing guild. Are you not rolling? Let it, let, just let him, let him see it. Are you still? Let, she, let did, it. Did, did, did she show the text? Obviously No, not. she didn't. She provided it. She provided it? You think she just made it up? She did she show us the, the DM? No. Oh, man. No, yeah. she didn't. No. You need that type but of proof? Why would huh? why what is Coco Golf going to lie for? She's like but, a 19-year-old. Joker, Joker told me back at uh, th- th- hey, 2019. Can you play the footage? Can you play the footage, Joker, though, Joker, in 2019, told me. He was going to win the championship in 2023. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. He said guaranteed. Hey, can we play the footage? Guaranteed. Why would I lie? So you why would I lie? Because you can't. Coco Golf is happy? <laughs> Rapper. <laughs> what I'm saying, why would I lie? Joker told me in 2019, right, 2020 bubble after he lost, I'm guaranteed I'm winning in 2023. So you Coco lying. You, they said All it. I'm saying is, I don't believe shit till I see it. Is the Joker you talk to Cajun? Huh? He yeah, the Caucasian no, one in Denver. No, he but, told me. <laughs> He the told car, me himself. He called Cajun. Yep. Uh, I got the DM right here. Look. But what does it, like, what does it, okay, he could have said that shit. They could have lost in the first round. Like, like but the, fuck, like, could have. He would have been lying, but he told the truth. He no, it up. that's not a lie. What, what date, what date did he say it? Yeah, it's not a fucking, it's a, so it's not playoff, a lie. Before the playoffs. We for real right now? Wait, did, no, no, well, all I'm saying is, listen, listen. Listen, no, I feel like, real right like somebody played a lottery, right? The confidence somebody right? played a lottery. Shit, I win the lottery, shit, I'm going to give you a million dollars. But it never fucking comes. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it's not a lie. It's just I told you some shit that didn't. <laughs> but what if, they, what what if they like, I'm going to win the lottery that's and I'm going to give you a million dollars? That's a motherfucking lie right there. What you mean? That's, that's not a lie. It didn't that's manifest. a blatant motherfucking lie. No, it ain't. A lie is, I got, this, you a lie, I got you. these finals oh. tickets, and I tell you, I'm going to bring you to the game, and I don't give you the finals tickets. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. Yeah. I got the finals tickets. You don't win the lottery. You don't how can you give somebody something you don't fucking have? Yeah. Show me. How can you? How can Bro, he invite her to the finals? They wasn't in there? the finals. Like, he's shown. Yeah, it, it he literally it. said before the playoffs. It manifested itself. It manifested itself. It it manifested Coco, itself. Look, yes. You won't take it before to the playoffs. Was it before the play? Was it before the play-in before game? Before the play-in game. I yes. That's what you said. Play the Jones. Why we ain't so playing? Is it a video? Jones? We have the article. It's, it's very fortunate that it manifested itself. No, I sent us. I posted a video in the chat. I'm saying, did it say it? She, she said, said I don't know what she no, said. No, when she did it happen? Before the play in game? Before the play in game. Before against game. Atlanta. Okay. She okay. said, Atlanta. Before Atlanta. She said. So we don't have proof itself? of that, obviously, but yeah. she uh, said. But then she said she's not going to be available to go because she's going to be. She 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 three so he countries. said, Look, when did she get back? She's still not back. She's in the French Open, but that's what she, the point was. She said, Your family. He was like, Your family could come to the finals. 
of the National Basketball Finals. Finals. He said, in he's, Miami. He said in this Miami. before the playoffs. Your family can go to the finals then. I'll have <laughs> to. Yeah, yeah. Joker told me y'all the same ask, thing. Joker said me and my kids. Y'all asking come. like these like these tickets are sacred, like they fucking hard to come by. So. <laughs> no, they're no, trying no. to make it seem it's, like he predicted it. That Joker we're trying did. to make it seem like. Joker did too. Cool. We're trying to make it, it, it seem like. He said no, it and it manifested itself. That's a great thing for sports. It's you called all I'm saying. Cool. If he points and says, I'm going to hit a homer up there, and he hits a homer up there. Well, Jimmy, it could be Jimmy. Seen both ways. Who did that? Yeah. Who did it for the Yankees? We all confident. I was confident I was going to make Eric it. Eric Gertrude, you know I don't like my sports. <laughs> hey, listen, there's only, two people, there's only two people that can show evidence. That's Jimmy in his DM, in her, in his DM. I do Let need me evidence, Gil. You don't believe me. I just said He's Joker said the Joker said it. That he was going to be in the finals in 2020. He said, I'm going to be there 2023 and I'm going to win it. So we got. Do you believe that? Yeah. Okay, we, cool. We got two people. Cool. That's you, predictable. You ain't cool. never met no joker. No, and he didn't say that. When he was eight years old, then LeBron he told me he was going to get swept. He told me he was going to tell you. Then LeBron texted you and said, hey, Gil. I ain't, mean, <laughs> I ain't mean to show you this. He did. But uh, we he know, did. We're not we winning one of them. swept up under the goddamn rug. So, so, the Spurs said he was getting the number one pick. So n- neither here nor there. Two years ago. I can't get his Jimmy's credit. I you can't get Jimmy's credit? What I you just want to see him. I don't. I want to see You got to get Jimmy, G. I know when people are trying to get hyped. Jimmy I know when people are trying to get. Listen. When it was all the way to the final. 2020. Listen. 2020. It was popular to have COVID. Oh, God. Right? To have a bubble. It was popular, a bubble yeah. Motherfucker drunk on stage. Tip. Oh, I had COVID. I caught him in COVID. Nah, that was the Henny. Yeah. The Henny. Yeah, everybody had, all celebrities had COVID. Like, that was just a popular thing. So everybody, oh, get well soon. Here, oh, we praying for you. I am, listen, she's, she's, what's her team? Miami Heat? Yes. What, what do you get? What is the point? I'm what saying, you hey, in that hey, here? What, what did COVID have probably, to do with any of she that? She's probably trying to get famous like everybody else. Trying she's to ride already the famous. She's ride already. the waves. She's, she's already famous. Show me she the She beat test. Serena, bro. She already show famous. me the DM. You said there was a DM. One of the two showed me the DM. You showed me the DM. Like, okay, so we cool, going from it. fake injuries to showing show the DM, DMs. Bro. Show me the DM. That's all. That's hard. Now, here's the question that, for is you. Is that hard? Is that a problem? We're not even talking about Jim anymore. We're going we're gonna to open up and make it broader. Who was the guy you played with that has supreme confidence and walked in like they talked to? Like you knew when they said they was going to do some shit, they was going to deliver. They were not going to be Fugazi. It was not Cap. Other than yourself, no self promo, Gil. On Gil's the real <laughs> and my underdog fans. <laughs> Damn. I already know you're going to say you. And you didn't trust none of your other. I already know what you're going to say. Look. Only me. I didn't trust no one. I didn't trust none of you. Calm down. Chill, Not one, Gil. Gil. Chill, Gil. Not one. <laughs> Chill, Gil. <laughs> Chill. Let it go. L I G it, Reggie. Not one. Let it go, Reggie. I can think of one of your teammates. Reggie, let Ooh. it go. <laughs> that, that, that was serious and like that, what did like when they. And the Quran, but yeah, but he didn't predict stuff. Not he predict, just, but I'm not saying like, predicting, oh, but just, just from a confidence level, just confident level. and manifested oh, all. Like you knew, you knew when they said they were like, going to do something. Shit, you looked in your eyes like you believed them. You knew come fourth quarter, like come forth, not going to disappear. No, no, right now you're crying. You have Antoine, um, Larry. You know he was quiet, but uh, <laughs> Deshaun Stevenson. Okay. That's what I was going to say. Okay. Yeah. The His swag was different. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> he, had that, he had that Fresno uh, swag, though. Uh, huh? He had that Fresno swag. Yeah, uh, he, he was different. <laughs> What's so funny is it's it's how kids are, like, dressing now. Like, I, I watch, I was watching something where they have that goofy, I like, they, they got a blanket. Like, he had a blanket, a SpongeBob blanket with a SpongeBob house shoes, and you'd be like, that's him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rashad, who? Oh. We'll go you first, then we'll go to... I, Shit, I mean, <laughs> man, I played with Chuck, played with Melo, I played, I, I oh, played yeah, yeah. with Jay Kidd, I, I played with Charles, I, I, guys, yeah. so Marcus Camby said he was going to win Defensive Player of the Year. It's just, it's. He a bunch of cocky. Ooh, the white, the white. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, the white. So, take it from me. That was, you know, the only yeah. nigga I hooped with that was about that. <laughs> He's about that action. Who? KG. But did, did he ever say that I'm going to do this and then did it? Nope. They say he was going to do man. it and then There's only one man that did that <clears throat> publicly. No, he, he told me. Said I was going to score 50 on someone four months before. 
Bro. They getting 50. Beginning of the season. Hey, I'm coming. I'm giving 50. Line up. Beginning of the season. This was some cold shit, though. Ticket was losing in the uh, rebounds per game. He took that shit serious. It was like uh, Dwight was at like 16. He was at like 11. <clears throat> he would look at that shit every game and be like, fuck, he's stressing out. And then one game, he was just like, fuck, I'm going to catch these. I'm going to walk their ass down. Watch. I'm going to walk. The it was right before like um, uh, All-Star break. He was like, I watch them walk their ass down. Watch. Next thing you know, them niggas got tired. It was DeAndre Jordan, I think, his second year. The niggas was all up there. Marcus Campbell was up there, I believe, like 10, 11. He walked them niggas all the way down to, he. I think he was averaging 15 that year, 15 rebounds, 14, 15. Hey. And I walked them niggas down. I watched it. And he did it strategically, how he rebound. Like, it's, it's different, but the nigga did it. I used to love playing against him. He used to get his tired. <laughs> Cause he, he like you, you used to do. You used to just what go ten the first shot that come in. Yeah, yeah, I hated that. Like, like <laughs> cause it, you know, kind of the scare tactic, right? Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't like you know grab. It was that you know spiking into the fourth row. Like, oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Where did that bitch go? <laughs> and then he like, go over there and ask that, for it back. Like, absolutely, yeah. go yeah. ask for it. Like throw back. it up, and he just purposely like even if he palmed it and just oh, threw it, you just like. Oh. Shit, he's he ain't going to ask for the ball back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. back, back. Hey, so We're going to need that for the next my, two hours. Yeah, and then, and then uh, uh, so KG used to, like, then let people shoot, right? Like, you know, whistle blow, and then you try to throw it up there, and he'd block it. So every time I'd be like, all right, look. Every time the whistle blow, just shoot, shoot it, it, make him jump. Make him keep jumping. Right? So we're making him jump 45, 50 times a game. So be like, oh, let me get a little shot, make him jump, just jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Hopefully by the fourth quarter, he ain't had no more energy to jump. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you just wear him down. All right, just throw it up there. Like, yo, hey, shoot. Man, yep, yep, there you go, block it. Every time. Yeah, he gonna do it every time. <laughs> yep. Like a dog at the park. <laughs> gonna run every time. Just every time. Just every do time. It. Try to get him tired. If you want to see him in the fourth quarter, get him tired. All right, now let's move on. We got one last topic to talk about before we get to mostly fans. Uh, oh. This is near and dear to our hearts. We got to talk about uh, this Eric Lewis burner situation. It's a couple of days old. We wanted to sit on it for a little bit. Whoa. Really gather more information like the league allegedly was trying to do. But NBA official Eric Lewis uh, got some explaining to do after he was allegedly caught running a burner account at Cutliff Blair, I think was the account's name. And the reason people found it out, the account was dick riding Eric Lewis. Only followed like five other accounts. Mm -hmm. Like three of them were like NBA official accounts. One was I think George Mason, women's basketball team where Lewis's wife is the head coach. Idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. Now, for those of y'all who don't remember Eric Lewis, uh, you may recall that he was the ref that Pat Bev famously pulled the camera on when he forever altered the trajectory of the Lakers' season, <laughs> tricking that game off in Boston. Probably, I think, one of my favorite moments in NBA history. He's like, I just want you to see. <laughs> this thing got jokes. Like, Pat Bev having the presence of mind to go grab, grab somebody's camera to go run up on the ref. Like, the Lakers knew at that point, I think I was right before overtime, that, that they were cooked. They were going to take the L, but. So, it's been reported that, that Lewis is a known Celtics fan. After getting busted, the account uh, claimed it was actually Eric Lewis's brother, Mark, briefly deactivated. Now it's there, just sitting, not doing shit. I think it deleted all the tweets. So, Lewis is entering his, what, his 19th season as a ref. He's officiated more than 1,000 games, 82 playoff games. Last work, game one of the Western Conference Finals which we already saw what happened there, cheated the Lakers. Facts. <laughs> we can say it now. <laughs> but what, what are y'all thoughts on this whole Eric Is he Lewis? saying it was his brother's account now? That's what he's saying? He said it was his brother. It's like, nigga, we not. No, no, his brother said it was his account. Yeah. Cat. I mean, at the end of the Somebody day. Somebody tweeted from the account saying, this is Mark's, This is Eric's and, brother, Mark. And, and, it ain't him. And, this ain't me. This ain't Raymond. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no, I mean, there's no crime. It is not like he's, he's just interacting with fans like, no, this call was supposed to be like this. That, that's, all, that's all account was doing. And it wasn't it was, like he was saying, I bet you they're going to no, lose this no. game. I Whatever he was doing. No, nah, it, was, it, was, it was basically, he was just defending himself, defending his, his brother or himself. So when you read it, there's no, like you're looking at it, what the fuck is the investigation? The investigation is referees are not allowed to actually interact with, with civilians. Fans. Okay. About the game. For one. Period. This period, but I, no, uh, period. Especially about that. But no, no. But especially about that. What does that mean, though? Because they can have real jobs, right? No, 
No. NBA refs are full-time NBA refs. refs so What's they, a civilian in London? Regular, uh, regular folks, that's not a referee. Like at the store and shit. So they, so they, so, <laughs> so they, they can have like uh, social media, but it has to be like, uh, like sanctioned like Like where groups. they know this is your... No, 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 a sanctioned group so they can have like a, like a referees club, right? They're not a, actually allowed to have conversation with anybody else. Can they post, so, post like ref mixtapes and shit like that? No. <laughs> they can't post each other. Yeah, so that's like, the only investigation. Like, oh, look at what, about, what about the work? Though? So it's not like he did anything. So it's not like he did anything. Were more wrong. like, uh, like a bitch. Like he, he, like it just seemed like he was soft. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like why do you even care? Somebody critiquing your work. Yeah. Well, but still, like that's a fan. Still. It's 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 not that serious to me. Like for you to get a burner account as a referee to go argue. Some of the tweets I saw were just bitch nigga shit to me. I'm sorry, like why do you so care? how do you feel about like KD's that? burner account? I, I think that some of his stuff was valid, but a lot of it was bitch nigga too. Some of the things were valid, I, I could get it. You valid? can't be yourself, you, you can't be yourself, so you want to say things that won't get you fined, that won't get you in trouble. So I do yeah. get someone with right. a burner account, with but it. use it the right way. 50, like use 000? it on shit that's like, Cool. Not like he was yeah, being yeah. private. You were with KD's sensitive, burner. Man. Yeah, he was being huh? super. Sensitive. I like most of them. No, I'm just saying, like, if she's gonna say that, like, you gotta a say society. that about everybody who has a burner account. But like, it's about how but you're using it. It's not. It's yeah, you using it. Is. Fifty thousand. No. You're using. No. no. Okay, so look at it like no, this. Why I do you have to hide behind an account? Because, because it costs you. Can't you can't say what you really want to say. It costs you. Yeah. So then, why do you need to say what you have? to Because you want to say it. No one knows you're saying it. Doesn't matter. Don't matter. You get that off. You know it. It does matter. If we don't know you're saying it, it's how you. People opinions of other people matter, man. Yeah. They have like, something to say. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, you don't know you're saying it. What's the dude um, who KD got fined 50 grand for? Who? Um, Reporter? When he said something Rapport. to him. Rappaport, yeah, Rappaport. Yeah. Yeah. Rappaport says something. Fired first. KD responds. KD responds. Rappaport gets him fined. Gets him fined 50,000. Mm-hmm. Why are you yeah. fined? So you don't matter. I'm account. a human. Yeah. Huh? I'm a human. Is that the response we're giving yeah. now? I'm a human. Yeah. I, I guarantee to, we going to your I have D. to respond. We're going to your DM. I'm pretty sure you said some shit to some people. No. I no. delete. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to come into my space with no fuckery. Delete. Let me tell you. You got a block list. You De- block immediately. Oh, Rashad, you don't even exist. Once I block you, it's done. Nah. Rashad, I got exist. kicked off Twitter in 2015 for threatening another uh, reporter, which was so stupid because. Like you said, they're always the person that counters gets in trouble. Yeah. He said something about my child. I told him when I see him, this was when I was covering the Dolphins. I said, when I see you in the press box, I'm going to spit in your face. He, that's not, that's not a oh, threat. God, he feared his life. He called the police. He did so much stuff. Twitter banned me for life from Twitter. A girl, 140-pound girl, told a, a, a man that I was going to spit him when I see him. They, he said he feared his life. They banned me. When I got my fake Twitter, I had the time of my life. You had the burner? Yes. Did you retire it or is it still out there for all of I, still, I still have it. Okay. But I had a, a time. Let me tell you, I got to say all kind of shit. Nobody knew it was me, but it was still funny. Like, people were still retweeting and it. You can you fuck know? with people. Yeah, Ooh. it was. I had a good time. Yeah, have you ever made a burner? No. Okay. I had a great time. I couldn't be myself, You're though. You're fine. And fi- I already have my excuse. I ain't do that. Where oh, I done threatened everybody in, on, on, the, on the DM. Oh, I'm pulling up. I been put out an address. Oh, this this where you live, huh? Uh huh. Oh, I done did all. I done did all that. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I can be getting arrested be anytime fun. now. It could be police kicking the door. You already know. I done no, told yeah, somebody. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm pulling, I'm pulling up. up. <laughs> yeah. I pull it up, and I just be like, that wasn't me. How you know it was me? Somebody else had my phone. I already got my excuses. So should refs be fine like players when they violate the rules and regulations? I, listen, social media I, listen, policy. Social, I, listen, I don't give a shit what you're talking about, right? What you're doing on that court, right? And the, the, the bad part about that is he wasn't even the ref who blew the call. That wasn't Eric's call. He could have made it. And he that wasn't his call. It was the like ref. That wasn't me. It was the other ref. Whoever it was. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like, how does Eric... <laughs> see, I think we all... He was there. Tell, no, tell. I think the problem is... He was in the there. car. We all, <laughs> we're all looking at Eric because of what Pat Beverly did. Mm-hmm. Not realizing that actually wasn't Eric's call. It was the other dude's call. 
Who was right under the basket? Who's seen it? But Pat yeah. Bev knew something, so he identified. No, no, he went straight to you know who, who he wanted to go to because he knew who the Celtics fan in that crew yeah. was. Mm-hmm. No, that's what I said. It wasn't even it wasn't even his call. He was uh, he would have been the the scoreboard ref, so he would have been closer to the uh, sideline. He's a so he's a sideline ref. That was the under the basket ref who made that call. If he Ooh. made that, if he made that call from up there, from back there, oh my, that would have been an investigation because that wasn't his call. But that's what I said that every Pat Beverly took the pressure off the actual guy who who's made the who made the call, who missed the call. Ain't got nothing to do with that damn burner account. They didn't. I don't. Know. People sensitive, man. He defending himself. He feel he needs to defend his craft for what he do nightly. Yeah. He getting critiqued and criticized. He felt he did a good job. Got in his uh, feelings. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. man. But I, I mean, for that, I, I, that, on, that one makes sense. I mean, listen, as a, as an NBA, I guess. NBA players now where you you technically get critiqued but you can't respond if you respond mm-hmm. you get fined um I I I mean you at this point you probably do need a burner account yeah, well, yeah. I mean once you started finding the player for responding it became it became a whole right. different it's level. Always been but you can't respond. It's always been one-sided, though. It's always been one-sided. You got to respond in a no. certain way. Yes, but you have to respond in a certain way. They say yeah, you can't, you, it ain't saying you can't respond. You just got to be politically correct with your response. Well, sometimes gotta, when somebody uh, says something uh, that take you out of that politically well, correct box. You, hey, talk you in a certain this, way on social where they start to act tough and shit, and then you pull up on them, and that whole demeanor changes. So I used to be anti-burner. Then I really started to understand. Yeah, there's they, a strategy to it. why he has yeah. the burner. And like, sometimes I just want to just talk crazy to somebody, not have so to worry was, about it. But you got to be discreet with your burners. You can, exactly. can't use the same email can't be addresses. Mixing them up, either. Gmail. You that's can make a much. thousand email addresses a day. Much. That's too much. So let's just. I'm gonna say what, I'm gonna say what I gotta say on my. I'm gonna stand on my shit yeah, but, on my platform yeah, because you can't get fi- because you can't get fined. Exactly. And I, and I, that's why I always hate stop penalizing the reactor. Yes. Penalize the, the actor first. Like, yes. if Rappaport should be able to get fined, if if. He can't get fined. Katie can't get fined yeah. because yeah. You, you make it too easy for people to come to at people. irritate. It's always the been one sided. Yeah. yeah, it's always been one sided. Yeah. Oh, we didn't have social media then. Yes, yeah, so, but it, we had. It's always been one sided. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's always it's, been that you way. You guys are always to blame. But we gotta yeah. be the, always we gotta be the bigger man, man too. You, We've you, always we held, been the bigger man. Held to, we always had to be held to your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> but most of the time, granted, granted your background, granted what how you grew up, granted what you got going on now. You always, as athletes and entertainers, whoever it is, you always been held to a higher standard. I know. You're supposed to be here when you're not supposed to stoop to normal. To, I'm saying that's what. But you're supposed but people to not human, be though. human. Yeah. But people human. That's just not like, human. and that's just always like. If you hit me in my chest, you can't expect me to hit you back in your chest. I'm mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Break your jaw. Like, that's just the way it is. Like, you say something to me, I'm going to say I wanna, I'm gonna say something back that's worse. That's just, that's just how I grew up, where it is. Some people grew up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, it was, so it was a learned behavior for me that I probably shouldn't tweet. <laughs> <laughs> like, I probably shouldn't. Like, so I knew, like, I said some years ago, and I like, you know what? Let me, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the last time for this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like in DM, it's got, I, and I got to the point. Where I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying to grow up. <laughs> at 45, I'm still. At 45, though. I'm still trying to grow up in Actually, a lot of aspects. Listen, I, but I just, I've never no. been to turn the other cheek kind of a guy. Neither is Gil. But you should. But the thing, yeah. Gil, I respect <laughs> and appreciate about you. I ain't never. People say some wild shit. So my yeah. first inclination always, all right, let me research, see where this person's at, work history. I do that. But just in case the pull up is necessary, which I, you never know. Why? They're not, not that important. In people in people's house. Rashad, They're not that important. But I'm just saying, Rashad. death threats, the wild shit. Like, yes. I right, need to know, just in, case, just in case it does get out of hand. We've been here too long. We've been dealing mm-hmm. with this shit nah. for too long. I've been dealing with this shit since I was 15, so it don't bother me. Yeah, well, guess don't what? Bother, especially now that this move to social media, they got direct access. It's like, let me hear what you got to say. Which is, delete! <laughs> <laughs> it's gone forever now. Like, you don't exist. I, so bring me all the work, but, God. Give me everything you got to say so I can push this one button that says, delete all. Oh, the, block, <laughs> the block button is your friend. Yeah. I've never it. blocked anybody. Oh, I, I know you're, 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 you're a better man than me because 
I've blocked a lot of people yeah, after I get my shit it's a part off. Of our yeah, business. I'm gonna block. Oh, yeah. It's a part of our business. But I'll block I'll them, and let's, let's say they're a fan yeah, of a I'll team, or whatever. I'll just start posting yeah, content all yeah. geared towards that team, so everybody else they know will start hitting it and it'll show them, and just constantly bombard their shit just to remind them that I blocked their ass. But block, block, motherfucker. Just something about saying something about my child, though, like that. Yeah, that's that right there. That's the easy one. Yeah. That's the yeah. that, that, that's an easy trigger. That's exactly. the one I don't use. That's the one I gotta nah. work on because yeah. See, I can says, ignore things, I can block mm-hmm. and talk mm-hmm. shit. But when somebody says something about my child, it makes me think that you're you're trying your best to play with me. Yeah, you, you don't you know are me. Playing that's with the me one now. I don't go for. I know that one. I know that yeah, trick. You playing yeah, with me. like nah, that ain't the one that's gonna get me there. <laughs> you don't know me though. They don't know us. They, they, how can they even get close to our emotional well-being? They don't know. I don't know you, bro. It's Chill. not about emotional well so, Relax. So, so some, somebody had something to say on my page when I came in here with the whole Julius Randall thing. Some chick had something to say. So I went on her page. She, I, she had a bathing suit. Her stomach was distraught. <laughs> I went in there. I, was told, I said something about her. She was like, oh, you reached deep for that. She laughed, though. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I'm not get the one. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to keep you honest now. You. You say something about me, and, I, and what you said has something to do with my. I, I, I watch this magic. Yeah. Watch this magic. Watch oh. this magic. Oh, watch oh, this yeah. magic. Oh, she yeah. like you reach deep for that one. When I see, <laughs> I see guys will come on my page or something and call me ugly or say like, "Oh, you need to eat a sandwich," like you know, all kind of little jokes. I look on their page, I'd be like, "Look what you married!" Like you yeah. can't say a fucking, you can't ever in your life call me ugly ever again. Look at your bitch. Yes. And then look at me. I, I, no, the, the funniest thing is when you when it be that like uh, it has like zero followers and zero. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, you uh, oh. you responded to a fake page. Yeah. Bye. You's a real person. Yeah. <laughs> I was just fucking for you. you talking about. This is a real. This ain't no robot. Yeah. I don't know the fuck you. No <laughs> Go make a new one. God damn it. You don't want to have to make a fake because you ain't yeah. real enough. The wild shit is a lot of times to be people you know. When, when it's those mm-hmm. smaller accounts, that people got a, a gripe with you or they just talk to you and they oh, yeah. can't say it from their regular account. That's, that's, that's called a burner action. account. Right? Ain't but, that goes full circle about what we're talking about? But sometimes I just random people, people using burner bitter. accounts to attack yeah. us. But sometimes somebody you know who got the burner. Imagine, I one you tell your, how imagine somebody you know having a fake oh, pa- page and coming on your page and talking you, oh, personal shit that, you know, maybe somebody close to you. Oh, I, I, I be, hey, psh. I can yeah. only imagine some of the shit that you didn't send to people or said to people. You say you're gonna imagine. I could, I could only imagine. Yeah. Because some shit you say publicly. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yes. I could only <laughs> imagine. Hey, yeah. bro, this 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 DM, bro. Yeah, I, I I, could, oh. Listen, I know that they got a Rico case on me to stuff. Absolutely. I'll be yeah. Gilbert, you didn't say some. You but but the thing I be on is, YouTube. Listen, I be on YouTube. You be going crazy. back and forth, and then you hit me with like a shush. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shush! <laughs> yeah. It's on. Hey, hey I got $10,000. You go to his house right now. He's his actress. Oh, send. Oh, my God. Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly. 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 Be on a 20 more minutes. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. But, yeah. but that didn't happen God. to nobody, so God, damn, all soldier boy. I'm sorry, man. It's <laughs> all alleged. Hey, <laughs> 10 racks. It's all alleged. Oh Very God. good alleged story. Listen, I'd be, yeah. be trying not to, man. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm just not the one to play with. Because I know me. Yeah. I'm not the one. Yeah, for like, sure. I'm not the one to play with. In the public, online, I, I'm just not him, man. Yeah, I, no. I didn't try to grow up a lot. <laughs> yeah. to grow up. I, I have, man. I didn't came a long way. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm still confrontational, man. Like, I, yeah. My wife be trying to tell me all the time, you can't be that way with everybody. Like, listen. Everybody. But you might as well, it. shit. From nine, listen, nine, nine cripple or crazy. From nine, nine to 99. Nine. Like, I mean, anybody can get it, man. That's an important, yeah. like, it's an important attribute. Yeah, I, yeah, man. That respect go a long way. Mm. I'm a comedian. I just How the, the, jokes, just jokes. These are all jokes. Fuck oh, all y'all. Shit funny. Jokes. He's a, he's a, <laughs> jokes. That's it. Somebody asked somebody. He's totally the opposite, right? <laughs> somebody recently was a boxer, so somebody asked somebody why they ain't gonna smile. I didn't say that. Ain't shit funny. funny. Yeah. You're funny. <laughs> oh, Cam, it was a Cam. It's, uh, so, well. Cam from uh, yeah 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 um Brooklyn. yes Brooke him yeah yeah Cam, Tom. Tom. Yeah, Cam Tom. Tom yeah like, why you on funny ain't shit funny <laughs> shit funny <laughs> shit, let's, hey. crack a joke nigga so now it's time for one of the most important segments of the show none other than mostly fans because that signals that we've come to the conclusion of another beautiful day on Gills uh-huh. Arena yeah checks have been cashed direct deposit on the way underdog pays on time too that's an important thing a lot of employers mm-hmm. out there mm-hmm. like to get fuddy duddy with the bread 
<laughs> direct deposit hits <laughs> earlier than expected. Mm -hmm. That's why you should go ahead and download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code Gills Arena. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. Chad delivered. So we got to give a first, we got an award. Congrats to uh, Mr. Blue Strips for being today. Spam the chat with the same fucking question 500 <laughs> times until we crack contributor. Thank 500 you. times with the spam. He said, who is the craziest party animal or life of the party hooper or celebrity you've been around? Like, who, who turns up the most? Nobody want to say. <laughs> uh, on my team? Yeah. Like then, uh... <laughs> oh uh, shit! I know who you. Uh, I'm about to say, go ahead and say it. Shit. Uh, <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, Andre Blotch. Yeah, I ain't even playing on the team with him, and I knew that was coming. Yeah, Andre Blotch, boy, <laughs> that's a rock boy. boy what? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Oh, if we had him and uh, uh, Peter John Ramos. His nickname was Party John Peter, Ramos. He's the big seven mm -hmm. foot boy. Yeah. So them two together from uh, Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah them two together. Party John Ramos and Blotch. We land. Any time that if the club's open for five minutes, huh. they are going, they're going to take a cab, get there, and they're going to uh, parking lot pimp. Get all the girls that are trying to get, they went to every, 41 cities, 41 clubs. <laughs> Peter, my nigga. Best my to nigga. do it. Right. <laughs> Tricky Davis. Ricky, Tricky Davis. <laughs> Ricky Tricky boy, upstanding like you say, every time you landed, yeah. there was a limo outside <laughs> waiting. Soon we pull up as the bus. He, Don't stall me. <laughs> Don't stall <laughs> me. <laughs> Let me off this motherfucker. We, we got an hour left. We got an hour. Don't Shotty. stall. Shotty got an hour. Put your bags right there. Yeah. Right, there right there. Soon we get off, put your bags right there. They'll take, they'll take you to the <laughs> Don't stall me. Man, don't stall me, man. He was ready. Hey, talking about party, Don Perignon. I got a story. You gonna say? You gonna say? Oh no, we just—it was just a group of us. Okay. Oh, you were included. Oh, absolutely. I was it was before him, but it took it like like a rocket. Took off like a rocket. We like the Beatles on the road, dog. So hey, man, it was a group of us. So there should be some cities where it'll be three parties going on, and we like. Yeah, yeah we, no, it was just we was come on, man. We was yeah. you know, <laughs> we who was the life. Yeah, who was, was the life of the party for y'all group? Like, who was that nigga? Like, oh, here you go, turning up. Oh no, you know you got to watch Jr. at times. <laughs> I'm doing hey, Jr. was the one at times out of that but group. He, no, he, he, he knew who, who, like, but no, he, we all it, it wasn't just him. All right, yeah, now you might it might be somebody different tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got all oh, this nigga here we go tonight. Like, but no, nah, it was it. No, nah, it was it was. Yeah, it, I thought about it. It was, it was a like group. you already had Melo, Jr. and you. Did yeah. you add Chuck? You add Chuck to that Fucking mix? Chuck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So just imagine. That's a squad. We was no. doing it before that, and then he if, came, and it just because I listen. I'm in D.C. Mm -hmm. and Philly is not close. Not close for. Him to be on game the, the day before the game in the DC club. Absolutely. Partying. Yeah. Listen, I love him to death. Sleep. Let's go. Knocked yeah. out. Like, damn, they, they play tomorrow. 42. 42. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's 42. Yeah. Like, when people be like, yeah, well, hey, uh, we're going to bet against this team because they've been drinking all night. That shit don't work. Yeah, that, ain't, that ain't no basketball as shit. As long as I get that, listen, after shoot around, I get that nap. Good and to go. Shower, nap, pregame meal. Good. I'm finna go put foot to ass, man. I tell people all the time, man. I enjoyed every minute of my time on the floor. Mm -hmm. And off. And off. Let me tell y'all, this uh, Gronk uh, came into Miami, played the Dolphins. It was a big game. Like, we needed to win the game to get to the playoffs and all this shit. And my girlfriends hit me up. They was like, yo, we out at this bar and Gronk is here or whatever. I was like, get him Fucked up. Stay out on. Keep this thing out. He there was no curfew. You don't have curfew like nothing. The game is the next day at one o'clock. You know it's hot, humid, all that shit. And I'm thinking to myself like, if they could just fuck him up all night, <laughs> we gonna be good the next day, right? So my friends hit me like four o'clock in the morning like, yo, we tired of drinking. This nigga is still mm. trying. To <laughs> Gron Gron they said we don't make three bars, and he like, come on, like he trying to fuck and everything, all of them. Like he trying to get it done. Arizona they told boy. me they was out with him all night, getting fucked up, drunk, coke, all kind of shit. Yeah, Do you know that man pleasure. came into that game and put ass to foot? What you said? Mm. He put his hands on us. Still humid. 
99 degrees hot, he still came and just dogged us and won the game. That and I was shit like, don't and I found out afterwards, like, oh, that's what his Saturday night routine. You y'all just fed into it. Like, that's what he does to get him going. I was that, like, that, what that's what I said. It don't work. A player just need about four hours, recover, be good. I, but the game is at one. It don't matter. It's not till four in the morning. Yeah, we put Denver on his head. Huh? Like we we turned Denver upside down, dog. Yeah, I'm sure. Like oh, that yeah. small shit wasn't ready. <laughs> I can um, it wasn't ready for us at all. <laughs> like uh -oh. when I say wasn't ready, mm -hmm. like every the whole city had to adjust, man. Like it just wasn't like everybody had to adjust <laughs> us being there, because everywhere we went, every night it was a party. Like no matter where we were, we were hanging out at Dave and Buster's, dog. And turn into a club. <laughs> turn into the by the pool table, saying right day. Look, we in that, everybody. Somebody didn't call one person. Next turn to call, and that when Dave bust out, and this was a after the season. It was a daily hangout. Damn. So when Dave busted, they look, they turned the lights on. That's what I said. It's just certain. There's certain. There's certain dudes that just because of their how big they are when they, they go, feel? it's hollow leg. Mm -hmm. So Rashad, the chat has asked all show long. They want to know about the shoes. What, what shoes? about them? They say you can't wear fake Jordans. On, on, the, Wait, what are those? on the sports show. Fake Jordans? What well, are those? Fuck about no Michael Jordan. He's mine. Fuck y'all talking about. Those are the Jordans. The, the, These the, are the, customs. The layout. These fake. are customs. So they're not Jordans. No, they're not Jordans. They're McKenzie. They're mine. Just okay. like everything I wear. Custom. <laughs> Works for me. Hey, you chat. what you going to say? <laughs> hey, chat. Listen. <laughs> Y'all, this is what y'all did right here. Right here. Oh, this how we feel? Oh! No, I'm, no, I'm, oh! It's the, what is the, this where we going? No, oh. I'm saying that they, okay, they we, yes! I know. I've been waiting for this. No, I love them. Oh. No, he don't. I've been waiting no, for it. I love them. Yeah, I've been I'm waiting for it. Yeah. I, know, I, love them, I didn't know you was this type you. of nigga. No, I love them. I, I didn't. Mean, I now I know. They've been telling me. No, I didn't. I can't believe it. it. I haven't asked. I didn't you. think it would come. But I was like, Those are when it does. Times. When I said, I said, when it does, no, I'm gonna be so surprised. No, how many? Times? I really thought. Wow. Yeah, I thought, listen, listen, listen. Where are my I people? I thought they were just white, and you just put the print. Cause my dad used to do that with the Jordan. <laughs> He just printed his own colorway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm looking. This comes straight from choice? China. Oh, so that's a, straight from China. I'm just reading, brother. That's, you can you can read all you well, want. They, 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 you know, you know, they, 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 they come in the same place yours come from. They come in the same place. I'm gonna tell my dad to take a picture of his Jordans. It's Jordans, and it right what? He just re he just colored Those are himself. Jordans. He just recolored hey, himself. Gil. So he had these so are Jordans. I'm, I'm so happy you did. So when you said they're my own, I'm like, what do you mean your own? What they say on the back. Those are not See, that, that's what I'm saying. I didn't. What they say on the back. Greatness. Greatness. Just like my shirt. So there's but, not Jordans. What did I just say? How many times you got to say it? It's yeah, but it's a Jordan shirt. What did I It's a format or the Jordan. So it is a knockoff. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing yeah. this. What you mean? We're not doing this. This is a We're Jordan. Not Ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. This We're is not a doing. Jordan. We're not doing yeah. this. That's a Jordan. First of all, yeah. that ain't illegal. No. <laughs> How would it be illegal? Jordan is the logo. Oh, you're right. I know I'm right, motherfucker. Mm -mm. You know you're what right. the fuck I'm doing? No, you can't. Huh? No, that's okay. not illegal. Go ask Bape that shit. Have to change no, Jordan is the logo. Go, go ask well, Bape that shit. Hey, listen. Fuck, fuck the chat. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Fuck y'all. Go ask. I still want my custom Agent hey, Zero hey, shoes. Hey, look, look, look. Gilbert. Go I'm ask Bape so Air Force One. Me? Look. Nike went up to their ass. Him? I didn't do shit. You know what happened? Right. I didn't do shit. I told my people, I said, when he do this. Me? When he do this, we're going to know why he did it. He read it. I've asked. How many times have I asked? I want the shoes and you the never jacket. Asked, you had never asked him once, Gil. I never asked never. for the shirt never. and the jacket. The Asian Zero jacket. Nope. First of all, the Asian Zero never. jacket and the shoes. You never. said they were 13s, and I said they were 14s. You never asked for The low me. top ones. Well, we don't have to do this. You, you can't. We can do this after. You can't. We can do this off. We can do this he off. He said this, and we can I'm do this reading. online. I read, read it. it. Why are you snitching on me? I didn't do no, shit. No, you read you the read message. It. It's you read the message. Hey, put it in the message. That's all you did was read it. And putting me and putting me low, and putting me low is going to help the ratings. Let us do it. I didn't do that. It don't matter. I thought they were just It don't matter. No, you see. I know. 
know where I stand now. I'm just, I knew where I was standing in, in the, the chat, temperature of the chat. The chat had a question. Hey, the chat in the had a comment question. section. No, why? All no, of this no, shit. So he can see what I see. The, um, the, the, the chat had a question. It was dropped into the document. A, a, a brand. They said the Burberry, Burberry 11s. Yes. That is, but they're your own shit. These mine. Custom. With my Who own artwork. The These ain't no Burberry. No, it's not a Burberry pattern. These are my patterns. Okay. So you're like knocking I, off Burberry and Jordan. <laughs> I'm knocking See, off. She's for real. Huh? <laughs> I'm off. thinking about surgery, like doc, Dr. Surgeon shoes. I'm being nice, man, because I ain't here for No, violence. I'm saying hey, Dr. Surgeon shoes. I'm not here for violence. Get your shit off. <laughs> I got thick skin. So you thick get your skin. shit off. I thought you was about to say something about my shoes oh, or something. I don't know. Shit. But no, I ain't got double, nothing to say about nobody. You, double, you, get, you get yours how you get yours. Shit. Yeah. These, listen, these two be in the, the chat doing this. We ain't no. doing nothing. Rashad, you cannot I see where tell we at me. now. You cannot tell me those I see are where double knockoffs. You can't tell me that. Yes, those are double knockoffs. Yes. Double mm -hmm. knock these are my patterns. That's not the actual Burberry No, it's machine, not. But no, you, it's not. But no. that's a little bit like No, it's not. It's great. Yeah, it is. All right. All right. I know a hater when I smell it. I'm not hating. I'm just saying <laughs> I can saying smell a hater truth. through the yoga pants. We got to get, we gotta get <laughs> on the road with this. We appreciate y'all pulling up to Gil's Arena. <laughs> we'll be back on Thursday. Yeah. Appreciate your underdog fantasy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> we'll see y'all Thursday. What that got to do with me? What? With the honor call for greatness, the chosen of few, that carry the gift of genius, who do what they do, who possess finesse the blessed with desire.